Now let's see if the game has audio today. Yeah, I don't think it does. It might though. Man, I would sign up for an IOE account if I could fucking... If I even wanted to after everything they did to me. Don't ever ask me again. Wait. There it is. Yoi yoi. Ay yoi yoi. IP leak bit. I'm pretty sure this game shows some weird fucking, like, weirdo, like, number shit, but it's not your actual IP. I, that happened in the old game, too, if it shows some weird crap. Pretty sure, like, this series has, like, some weird pop-ups in the, like, top corner that, like, don't mean anything. They're, like, the server for the fucking, like, IO, like, community trash. Kabam damn! Thanks for the vibe gifted sub, man. I appreciate it. All right, chat. Let me summarize what happened in the last Hitman. The last... I can do this in about, like, fucking 10 seconds. In Hitman 1, you were paid to kill people as a Hitman. Then you found out... Hold the phone. You find out, after doing all of it, that you were being paid to kill the people you work for in the Hitman. Whoa, dude. Let's rewind. Now we gotta find who is paying us to do that. We just killed our bosses. We find him and he says, we're friends. And Hitman and his boss says, that's okay, I'm down with that. So then they keep killing the people they work for because I guess they're not cool anymore. So Hitman does it even more now. He's, he's killing fucking everyone. He's killing people from like secret societies. And then in this one, he's just still doing it. And you've pretty much caught up. Yeah, the guy was like, the guy, the guy was like, ah, uh, you might think I'm the bad guy, but these guys are even, these guys are fucking assholes. And now you can skip both games because Hitman was like, you're right, they are assholes. And now we're killing everyone. And I'm sure it'll summarize some of it and make it look, this is too confusing. Okay, well, let me explain like this. Hitman bald, go kill people. <laughs> you know, Jack, there's one thing. Okay, here's the thing. There's one thing no one plays Hitman for, and you don't have to tell IO Interactive this, okay? It's called, the, they don't care, no one cares about the plot. <laughs> okay. No one's playing Hitman because they're concerned about what happens to the Hitman at the end. His hair won't come back. He's never gonna smile. That's all you need to know, okay? He's never gonna smile. Whoa, what the fuck? Say sorry to the writers. I'm not sorry. The, p the thing people sometimes care about in Hitman is the map stories. But as far as I'm concerned, the overarching plot of the game can eat my cock. You know what I mean? It's not about that. We'll still watch the cutscenes anyways, but it's never been about that. You know? Shall we? Oh, you guys want the whole fucking story? Hang on, no, we don't actually own these two, so it would just tell us to go to a purchase page, which I can't fucking believe. So we're not doing that. The story of Hitman 3, because apparently these two, even though I own them on Steam, that doesn't, you know, Epic don't care. So I don't actually own these. It would give me a fucking pop-up to purchase them on Epic, which I'm not even going to bother giving them the fucking satisfaction of popping up for me. Story of Hitman 3, let's go. Oh. Everyone get your notebooks out. We can see how good I explained it. You guys want to do this? There's a story so far. It'll cover two whole games worth in about 30 seconds. Let's see if let's see how good I did it. Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Correct? Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. I was correct there. Providence's controller, the constant approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. The miss so, miss a little bit of that. that. The shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend. He and Diana switched I skipped that part, but I knew it was there. I just thought it was meaningless to the details. But he's also Sean Bean, which is pretty cool. Together, they managed to capture the constant 
forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Yep. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. I was correct about that part. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. That was all of it. <laughs> Chat, you thought I was, like, going a little too fast? That was all of it. That was it. That was all you need to know. That's $120 worth of plot, correct. Right there. You didn't need anything else. You didn't need them. That was even more simple than I think mine. Yeah, that was just the story you wrote on a napkin. Yeah, well, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Shall we? On top of the world. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. Oh wait, Chad, did you guys think Sean Bean was this guy? No, Sean Bean was in the game at one point and we fucking killed him. To use yeah, sorry, I, I, some of you were miss... So I, I must have confused him. To He's dead. Unthinkable. We killed him. We fucking the killed unforgivable. him. Unforgivable. Multiple times! And it never gave us a second thought. Until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me. And 47. He's so bald. I, I, <laughs> he can't be in the darkness. It just doesn't work. Closer than ever. We trapped the constant, Providence's chief controller. I could see him a mile away. We learned the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And just maybe look towards the future. 37. It's time. I mean, the game's visuals are excellent. I'll give it that much. This game has always looked great. The engine they use is fucking beautiful. For cutscene. Let's see what translates to the end game. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? Oh! Oh, it's like a Dead Space 3. They're making it, like, exciting now. I don't, I don't know about that, dude. Hitman's supposed to be real slow and lame, dude. You can't Dead Space 3 action game this. Start throwing things at me. That's a status. Just spook me. Right. We have a situation. Too exciting! Carlisle has left Too much excitement! And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low. Okay, courtesy okay. of their host, Sheikh Omar Al-Ghazali. Ah, see. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking, and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War, and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from the public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find uh -huh, uh -huh. they have nowhere left to run. Why would they lie low? Right. 
in the highest this fucking, in the moment. fucking most obvious, gigantic ruined our place. Lives if they were trying to stay away from me. Today, we return the favor. Wouldn't that be like a Happy pretty time. good fucking plan to not do this? Lie high, lie high. Mm -hmm. Lying high. All right, chat. Our objectives. Carl Ingram. Look at this fucking guy. The Ingram family is of. I'm not reading all this. <laughs> we're a chat, rich guy. We're gonna kill the rich guy, okay? You wanna read the fucking Hitman lore? You can do it on your own time, all right? It goes into multiple pages. It's like an essay. All right? This looks like something I'd write in high school, okay? It's not happening. It's even got the amount of paragraph space in there to make me feel like I wrote this in high school. This guy's this guy's stretching for characters, okay? We're not we're not we're not reading this. He married. He was married twice. Oh my god. Two sons. An adopted son in his second. None of his heirs know about Providence yet, but Carl leans towards appointing his adopted son, whom he sees as having the greatest potential as his successor. And then we have Marcus Stuyvesant. He looks sort of like he looks like a he looks like he's wearing a hitman disguise, and that's not a good sign for him. <laughs> he's where he's wearing a hitman disguise. Like this is something that I can take off of his dead body and put on myself to pretend to be him. So that's that's really bad for him. That's, that's never that's never good. Saints Row man. Oh fuck. Oh no. He's just hit. He's a fucking Saints Row character. Oh no. Oh god, I see it. All right, chat. Planning. Our starting location is probably the only one we have unlocked, which isn't a surprise. I've always liked how this game does its like leveling progression. Like as you level up and get better at a map, you get like more interesting starts and stuff. It's really creative. I've always liked it. We'll be smuggling in nothing because we haven't unlocked it. I should probably just stop checking our gear. The only thing we own is fiber wire because none of my shit from the other game carries over, including my really cool explosive pen that I had. It's all gone. Might as well not even think about it. And, uh, yeah, the rest of it, who fucking cares? All right. Our difficulty, we're gonna play professional. Uh, just because we're learning the map. I don't see why. I don't see any reason to play master and have limited one save when I don't even know the map yet. That's just, that's just like, stupid. We're gonna play professional so I can, like, goofball. You know what I mean? Check out me. Is this game based off of Crash Bandicoot? Dude, screw that guy. He had one good racing game. One. Two. Welcome two good racing to games. Welcome 47. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter. And Nitro the ceremony is epic. well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. Mm -hmm. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, Security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Damn, Damn Hitman. This is some crazy shit. 47. <laughs> Come in. 47, do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards a point of entry. Good. Can't jump off. Get back to me when you're there. Just thought I'd let you guys know. You cannot jump off. Now, let's see if I remember how to play Hitman. Control is my, like, instinct thing, which I've never liked even existing, but it's there if I want it, I guess. Uh, I also can't crouch on command right now. I think that's like a scripted thing. Yeah, I can't. I just can't. It's, it's sort of, it's, I, I, there's certain things I can't do right now. Okay. All right, it's coming back. I mean, again, this game looks fucking amazing. I really, the visuals of this game have always been nailed. The devs do that. Look at that RTX. Look at that reflection, chat. Look at that. Horrible anti-aliasing on the reflection. You know? Oh, look at that. Look at that terrible. Look, I can count the pixels on that. Isn't that, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Take a look at that. Anyway. Anyways, yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm going to go offline then. And keep playing the game. Ah! Thanks, Epic. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
47, use your camera and scan the lock, will you? What? I think I can override the Windows controls from here. 47, have you ever played, uh, have you ever played Dead Rising? You're going to want to take many pictures of your kills so you can get extra points. We're gonna, we're gonna do some, we're doing this new thing. Press. Okay, so one of these is a blank thing. So I guess I'm... I need to fucking bind this. Hang on. There's a there's something I'm missing a binding by default. I this is a new this is a new whole thing. I don't understand why it's not bound. Where's the inventory? Inventory, inventory. I or can I get this bound to? <sighs> Gotta be. Hang on. Inventory. I let's do put on a mouse button. There we go. Okay, that's easier. All right, what is this then? <laughs> Agent 47, if you check in your briefcase, I put in a small, um, a small camera I bought at, a, at the airport for you. Um, if you want to take any pictures while you're on the job, you can put them in a little scrapbook at the end of the, at the end of the mission. And it'll be like a fun, it's like a, it's like a shitty fucking Canon. It's got filters? No. At least it'll be tasteful when we kill the guy at the end. <laughs> All right, I'm in. We're in, Chad. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Let me switch it to selfie we mode. Need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may... Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, can I get this in, uh, can I get this in late sunset? Sorry, I just need to cut you off for a minute there. Can I get this, uh, can I get this one late sunset? Thanks. Lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't I know. Worry. They're not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere. It's a big tower. They'd have to take an elevator. And I'm in the fucking vents. I'm in the walls. They're not going anywhere. All right, chat. We're gonna be on rails for this first mission, I got the feeling. So let's get changed. Let's get changed. Wait, I need to get changed. There's gotta be something I can change into here. Okay, I guess I'm walking out like this. Isn't they gonna think I'm, is it gonna be so suspicious if I walk out, all right? Okay. Oh yeah! Are you sure? 47? Oh my god, how could I be mad at those eyes, though? I can't get mad at the eyes. Looks like he's about to cry. He's crying. He's getting really close. He's like tearing up a little bit. He's getting, his eyes are getting watery. All right, well. Just left it here. Just hung it up. Well. Uh, hello, sir. Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali, I bid you welcome to the Citadel. Do you think they get? You think the devs ever added a quick save button to the game, or are they not above that? Are they like above that? Are they above letting you quick save? They definitely didn't change anything from the last game. There's no quick save, which means I'll I'll, I'll always be punished for trying to punch this guy in the fucking nose. I might as well just make a save right now. Might as well just make a save right now. You know what I'm saying? Cause like. Cause like I mean honestly, everyone does it. This is this guy's guaranteed to die at the beginning of every fucking session. Someone's gotta punch him in the nose and then drag him into like a corner, to finish him off. It's uh, it's the it, we're, we're in Hitman. All right, calm the fuck down. Okay, you're up. All right, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. And then you'd punch this guy in the fucking nose too and do the same thing again. And then this guy would be he would actually lose me. <laughs> I think it's over. No, 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 no. For you. And now we can go find the last guy. All right, let's go. Let's go do the assassination then. Don't let him take control. It's all coming back. Was that a grenade? Oh, this gun sucks. It was the gun's fault. I thought someone actually threw an, a frag grenade at me. <laughs> 
in public. It, it's okay. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't. Everyone calm down. They didn't do that. Chad, I used to be able to fucking pinpoint bang, bang, bang. Clear a room in one fucking second and not even get an alert on. Back in Hitman 2, I'm wondering if I can rechannel my, my peak Hitman energy that you guys never saw because I didn't stream it. But trust me, I did it. You gotta believe me. Wow. I can't fucking see it. The music tells me there's something really impressive over here, but I fuck if I know. <laughs> wow, it's really bright. <laughs> Nope. Absolutely fucking not. I don't think so. Hang on, where's a guy with a gun? Nice threat. Where's a guard? No, 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 no. You're not a gun guy. Where's a guy with a- I need a guy with a gun. I need a guard. So I can shoot this out. Excuse me. Excuse me. All up in my face. Get out of my fucking way. Space, Listen, man. Back off. I want to talk to the partners directly. Make them understand why all of this is happening. But then we're gonna kill them? And him? that terminal gives me an idea. There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. Okay. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. We could do that. I can't believe that guy was staring. There's multiple things. Just go to another one, assholes. You know, we could probably do that. That glass has got to be bulletproof. Well, there's only one way to know for sure, chat. Chat. There's only one way to know for sure. You know. I'm just gonna borrow this. This guy didn't have a gun. No, he did. I'm just gonna borrow this for one second. Excuse me, I'm a one. Just one. I got you in one second. Whoa. All right, it's bulletproof. How am I not being shot yet? I cannot believe I haven't been shot. Where are the guards? Are they the guards? They're over it. <laughs> They're over it. They're leaving. They're done. Everyone's gang. No one. Thank you. Thank you. You've done your part. It says I'm compromised. This is like cyberpunk, like police. Only that one would even recognize me in a crowd. <laughs> I cannot fucking believe this. I cannot fucking believe this. And there's a flashbang into a crowd of people. <laughs> There's another little bit late on the flash ring, but I guess I'll accept it. Whatever, no big deal. Okay, well we know the glass isn't bulletproof. Well, is bulletproof, which is good. Sorry, but cyberpunk police are overpowered as shit. As are these guys once they know you're there. As are the enemies in Hitman, which is why it's very hard to do full psycho murdering in Hitman. Because they just come, they just come forever. They're just infinite spawns most of the time, to an extent. But, man, are they stupid. It's just a precaution. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zayn. I got too close. Hang on. Sorry, place, sorry, 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 sorry. Please, behave. Sorry. Do go I've on. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name. Mm -hmm. Um, you are invading my. Oh, sorry. I thought that. I thought you were talking. I thought you were telling me this time. 
Sorry, I'll back up a little bit more. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zaina Kazim. Sir, I understand, but you can't enter without being searched. It's right. standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Mm -hmm. Think about it and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs. You think I'm going to reception? steal his hair Understood. and take his clothing? A man of interest, a suspicious looking man, has an appointment with his loyal, his royal highness's personal assistant. Hang on, I'm just gonna follow him around. I might be able to like cut off his skin and like take his fucking hairline. Ooh, so. Dude, that's like what I'm drinking right now. What is that, a Coke Zero? Dr. Pep? Ugh. I've never drank Dr. Pep. He had a gun on him. Well, I wanted to make sure if I could actually wear his clothes or not. I can't. But I am still trying to keep the- I'm trying to keep the knife a secret. And there's another frag grenade. <laughs> Oh, I can. Hang on, do I take his hair? No, the hair is irrelevant. No one will care, no one will notice. All right. We can take his clothes. We're gonna take his clothes, we're gonna get him. He's our guy. Chat, he's our guy. All right. We're gonna get the, so we're gonna get the doctor, Pep. He's our guy. I don't understand why fiber wire isn't an obvious fucking thing. It should be incredibly obvious to anyone that sees my hand right now that I'm carrying around a disturbing wire with handles. I don't know why I'm allowed to just carry this around in public. Because this is fairly obvious. It's just a precaution. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zaina Kazim. Uh -huh. Stand up straight, you freak! Hi. <laughs> Sir? I understand. You can't enter without being searched. It's standard procedure. Everyone's so mean and hit well, man. That's how it is. Think about it and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood? Crystal. It's got like a is that a scar? It is. Alright, so we're gonna follow this guy. We're gonna get to the bottom of this guy's whole deal. I cannot fucking- this is glass, right? There's glass here. It says I can vault. Oh my god, it's just a fucking railing. Excuse me, but can you please extinguish that cigarette? You are blowing cancer directly into my body. It's a smoking area. If you don't like it, piss off. Jesus, I'm just asking nice. Yeah, fuck off, Granny. Oh, you were being a bitch. Now go. Hang on. While this is excellent, I want to see if I can turn off subtitles for um. Wow. God damn it. Hey, devs. Add general subtitles for like conversations in the real world, cause like I want to see what they're saying more clearly. I am binge eating some celery or whatever idiots like you. No. I um, you are right in my personal space right now. Okay, I'm sorry. Sit no, back down. You were being a bitch. Now go away and binge eat some celery or whatever idiots like you do. Or do something worse than blowing cancer in your face. Oh my god, what is your problem? <coughs> you are sick. You have no idea. You have no idea. What is he actually sick? I could help. Do you want my help? I'm not saying she's Hang on, let me get some space. I don't want to hurt him. I'm just gonna follow him around, dude. I'm gonna see what his deal is. Let's find out. He's going somewhere private. It's over. He's dead. Yeah, he goes around this corner. He's dead. I will kill him. He's dead. It's over. Fuck, that lady's fucking... She's stinking a peak, dude. I'm gonna... Hang on. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. It's dead. It's over. What's he doing? It's over. No. No. <laughs> That's just it, man, baby. We're him now. It doesn't matter. He's as good as gone. Yes. <laughs> Need to build ya. Oh, hang on. I should probably take this. Okay, epic. Shit. 
shoot him. Well, I don't. I'm not gonna shoot him. So I don't have clearance to do this. Still, I gotta like call hey. someone. Right? All right, let's take a look around now. Hey. hey. I'm sorry, sir. You need the correct clearance. Do I need to be searched over here? I bet I just need to be searched. It means I need to dump these guns in the bushes still, which is fine. I just need to do a quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. <laughs> nothing more suspicious than whenever like someone's like, hey, "I need to search you," and then you run, you turn around and run away. All right, well, just dump him in the bush with the body. All right, it's fine. Whatever. I just didn't want the gun and shit on the ground because that's how you get like in trouble in this game. I've already got all the lethal. Weaponry I need in the form of a can of Dr. Pep. You sh cut your hair. I I'm gonna meet with her and she's gonna ask this. Wait, illegal item. What's still legal? Hold up. I never dropped the gun. I see. I see. Will they get suspicious if they see this one though? Hey there. Oh. I'm oh. Sorry. I thought you were someone else. Hold it. Hang on. Uh, I can't let you enter before I have a look in your pockets. No, of course, of course, of course, I see. You're okay, they going, can sir. connect Otherwise that dot. We'll have to take they can connect dots. These guards are smart. They like people, Jack. He wouldn't kill an unarmed woman. All right, let's just take a look around. Let's get an idea of what we're doing around here before we reload, all right? We got like we got like 30 more kills with this thing. Let's just take a look inside. Oops, 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 oops. <laughs> Guys, Hitman's a shooter, you know what I mean? I didn't even need to What 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 value was your flash to do to you? What was the, what is the value of a human life? Oh wait, you weren't a guard. I should probably reload. <laughs> I should probably, uh, I should probably dump this gun now. Ah, it's all coming back, check. God, I love Hitman. I've always been a Hitman gamer, you guys know what I mean? I don't know, I think, I start, I think it started to scratch more of an itch for me after I did Thief and, like, a bunch of Dark Mod, because I started to really appreciate... I don't really like going guns blazing in Hitman. Like, it's fine. The shooting's nice in this game, like, genuinely, but, like, it ain't, it ain't what does it for me, you know what I mean? It's the non-lethal, no one ever knew you were even there stuff. Hey. If you want to pass, you frisk need me. to comply to a Come frisk, on. sir. I'm ready. Let's go. Won't take a second, sir. Oh, easy there. Thank have a you, good day now. Proceed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a good day now. You know, here's a little, here's a little something, something for you. What? Wow. Don't throw that around here. Pick it up. Jeez. A little tip for you. Your hard work. Good, Ching. That wasn't for you. But whatever. You snoozy lose. You know. It's like when my. It's like I give a treat when I give a treat to my, like my cats. And one immediately cuts off the other and just takes it from them. Looking like they snooze, they lose. They take too long to get it. Oh, Mr. Kazim. You know. I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a danger. And then I sneak trend. another one to the yes, one that didn't indeed, get one. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have. A Hang on, no, I gotta put this away. Where's my, where's my garrote? Conference room set up for you. I see. Well, then let's get a move on. Nice bottle of... Oh, I thought I could just take this. I like things like... I like having, like, a nice stockpile of things I can hawk at someone. Can you just give me one minute, ma'am? Okay. If you just follow me... One minute, ma'am! I said one minute, ma'am! Mr. Kazim, please, follow me. Uh, I want things I can throw. I need more... Th I need more throwing things, you know what I mean? I Just give me, like, a fucking minute. I'm, I'm looking. I, I'm, I'm trying to get a suitcase so I can know if a suitcase is still like an ascended weapon of God, used to take the lives of the innocent. I doubt they've changed much about anything in the engine in this game. Okay. I can sort of tell just from playing it. So, uh, I'm guessing suitcases still heat seek through walls. <laughs> 
I'm guessing it still does it. Please, go in and make yourself comfortable. In here, Even like that guy? Like that paid- Oh, Thank you noticed you. I was looking, huh? This guy's another hitman that's like snuck How in. Are you, sir? Look at him. Oh, yep. Yeah. That guy's a that guy's another guy here to kill people in this in this building. There's no way he actually works in this place. This is Kelly To. Your appointment has arrived and is waiting for you in the conference room. Please stay back. Yes. Okay. Oh, there's a. Bye. Oh my God. I don't know. Guys, I don't. I'm gonna be honest. I know I can take all of them. I could take on an army. But uh, I don't know if I can do it without getting noticed. But if I lure them all quickly into the toilets, I mean, the, the storage room while he's on his way here. Oh, hello. Have a seat, Mr. Kazin. Sorry about that, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. I'd love to, I'd love to. Perfect, actually, perfect. <laughs> I'll get straight to the point. Got a nice vacuum back there. A, well, let's call it a dispute. Good. Which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taken care of. I see, I see. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here. Do go and on. That is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. You think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer winning freelance journalist. He's good. And won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. I see. And that see. can't happen. Consider it done. Consider it done. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. Why is one of my... That's Carl Ingram. Providence partner and is one of my billionaire. lenses different than the other? I look like a freak. Ingram is old money and as rotten as they come. My hat. Is my guy like? Is it? Oh, I know what it is. He's got that scar on one side of his Yo, face. Man. Maybe one of the lenses broke and he just cut the glasses, or maybe one of his eyes is more sensitive. You know, the other assassin. I don't know. I broke it. I garroted him. I didn't fucking slam him into the goddamn ground. I cannot believe they left me alone in this room. Big mistake. All these sodas are mine. Hang on. I'm going to distract that guy and kill him in here quick. I know, but it's free clothing. <laughs> so let me just, let me just grab some things. Let me just grab some things. Hang on. They're 3D glasses, but chat, they're not totally 3D because only, I don't, I don't know, chat. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Hang on. I'm just going to get this guy at the front desk dead. Oh yes. Wait, I don't want to kill. I'm not. I'm not a killer. Wait, yes, I am because I'm playing this for funny streaming content. So yeah, I'm, I'm a killer again. Yeah, yeah, we're a killer. That was a whiff. And we're up and running. Hi. <clears throat> okay, we're not killing again. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't, I, I thought for a second I didn't get caught. <laughs> just seeing this fucking, like, blur. This bald blur dart, like, just dart around the fucking corner. Fuck. Ah, well, I don't need to get this guy. Wait. Welcome back, Mr. Kazim. Do you have the picture? No, I don't. Okay. Come back when you do. Okay. I'll be waiting. You don't... That's a good fucking picture. Is this like... Find this awkward? 
Can I zoom in? Because I find it awkward. Okay. Get some good fucking pictures out of this. What's he doing? Oh, he's reading. Okay, chat. Hello, sir. Well, I reckon we found this guy, whoever he is. It's not illegal to have a camp. Sorry, but you're you know? not coming through here. Hang on, let me filter off. Let's turn off the filter. This guy's an assassin. He's another assassin. I can, I'm guaranteeing it. Look at him. I'm a chat. We know what the deal is. We know he's a bad guy. I'm gonna find out what he's up to right soon. He's Agent 48. I should have known he'd be here. He's always fucking crashing the party. I might. So, what does this guy want me to do? I don't remember what, like, the look for. Like, tell. I don't remember the tell me the objectives thing, because I'd like to follow that storyline. The, the assassin one. Uh, mouse and keyboard bindings. There's a button for it, I think. M. This map. Yep, here we go. Mission stores. Bird of Prey is what we're going to do. I usually, I don't really like following these, but considering I'm on a bit of a time limit for the stream. Alright, so, uh, we're doing this one, which means we want to go, we want to find Hans Lucht, who's supposed to be somewhere in the, uh, in the lower floors. So let's get a move on. We can collect our gun and knife from the, uh, from the bushes. Should be a piece of cake. This should be an easy one. Free kill here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We should get rid of this guy. Free clothes. I should kill him. This guy, this guy's actually a free kill. That guy won't be- This guy, this guy's also a free kill. One of these two I should kill and stash over here for clothes. But do I need to? That's sort of like the- God. Yes. God, imagine being one of the first NPCs in the game, and you are actually put in the kill location. Like, that's like the- that's like the coded- Oh, kill the guard here if you want guard clothes. Kill one of these two. If you get up here, just take them out. They're- they're in the middle of nowhere. No one's gonna even notice. They're not gonna care. Wait a minute. Have you been sleeping well? Hi. Did you get more sleep? Eyes are like bloodshot. No. I am not very good at hiding bodies. <laughs> thought, uh, thought I hit this better. Thought this was... Thought I moved this uh, deeper into the... Uh, deeper in. But alas, I did not. Let's just re let's just put that a little bit. There we go. There it is. Okay. So now we're looking around for Hans. Hans looped. He should be somewhere in here. How are you today, sir? I'm okay. Thanks for asking. What a nice man. Wait. Ain't you the girl that was complaining to him that the assassin about smoking in a smoking area? And now you are smoking in a non-smoking area? I'm getting a picture of this. I'm gonna report this. The authorities. Fuck, just nothing in her hand. I can't, there's nothing to prove. There's nothing to report. That... She got rid of it at the last fucking second. Unbelievable. I'm just gonna keep the camera out. I guess the camera's a good fucking thing to have out. Huh? Uh, locate Hans. He should be somewhere in this area. Hans? Are you guys posing for a picture? <laughs> Without a camera? Let me take your picture. I, I can do it. I got time. Hitman's always wanted to be a professional photographer, chat. All right, so he, this is like honestly his big chance to fucking get a little bit of like a side job in. Oh wait, he is in this area. Okay, so I'm just gonna like ask around till I see Hans. He should look like an asshole, like an asshole journalist. All right. 
couple people posing for pictures here. Hands. Hands, Luke. Hands. Got a hands here. No one hands. Hands. Looks different. Looks slightly different. Looks like he's into like the truth. Oh, impossible to miss. Yep, there he is. Get the fuck out of the way. There he. Get the fuck out. There he is. Get the fuck. There he is. There he is. There he is. Let's enhance. Let's get closer to him. We got him right where we want him. Mr. Looked, I hear you're looking for information. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> the camera is very good. I like the camera a lot. The camera's been a good time so far. It really, <laughs> really like the camera. Okay. You know what's happening upstairs? I know more than you could imagine. But we can't talk here. Yes, we can't talk here, you see. We can't. Follow me. Great. Lead the way. Number 47, Ingram wanted a photo of him eliminated. Oh. Now, personally, I don't care if he's just sleeping, but he needs to look dead. Okay. Man, always adding all these extra layers of bullshit, boss. Fine, I'm fine. I'll make him look dead. Come along. Chad, I didn't actually pick out a kill spot for this guy. So I'm just gonna like, I hope he doesn't realize I don't know where I'm going. And I'm like gonna guess a good spot to get rid of him. You know? I think I could do the same like pile of bushes as before. Just come, come along, sir. Come along, come along, come along, come along. Please come with me. Please come with me. I have a, uh, we're gonna take you somewhere nice. Please just come along. Yourself out of trouble. trouble. Trying to keep a low profile. So come along. Have you talked? Please come along. That's how you been. Please come along. Please come with me. This is one of the only places without a camera in the entire building. Please come. Please come along. Where are you going? Don't worry. Where are you going? Sorry about it. I think I have the answers you're I have the answers you are looking for. Please come with me. Let's find Cyan. Yes, so am I. I'd say this is the most discreet place in the entire building. Please come with me. Please come with me into my office. Please come with me. Just one favor. I will. Very good. Just a little bit further into my office now. Come along. Please come with me. Very good. Very good. Please. Please sit here. Have a seat. Please have a seat. Please have a seat. Right here, please. This better be good. Oh, it will be. I have a reliable be. source that the Royal Highness Omar Al-Ghazali is keeping a secret upstairs. You don't talk much, do you? Please have a seat. Oh my god, he's so high res. I need you to come a little bit closer. Please have a sir, please have a seat. <laughs> I need you to please. Hey, what are you up to? Who are you? You, you're starting to piss me off. Okay, I'm done. Security will deal with you. Please have a seat. Excuse me. Are you nuts? I was really like hoping that? I could what drown this guy, but he is just get out of the way. I'm getting the guards to deal. He is just not here. working with me. Will you oh my God. Help. Oh. Good news is throwing weapons is still ridiculous. Good news is they never fixed that. I can still uh, throw through walls as long as the reticle's active. Yep. Oh, yeah. All right, well, if I can't get you that way, Getting I guess it's pretty bag. easy to, uh, you know, get him any other way. Feeling here, where are you taking me? Just a little- I'm sure we passed plenty of places oh, where we talk. This is, this is the I'll only place it. that I can- I'm done. Wait for me here. I'll be back as soon as possible. Wait for me here, All please. Right. Whatever it is, better be good. Please wait for me here. Hmm. Uh, 
Take the bait. Just a little bit closer to your death. Pick up the shiny coin. You would like the shiny coin, wouldn't you? Pick up the coin. Why are you hesitant to pick up the coin? Just pick it up. Pick up the... Pick up the coin. Oh my god. Man. Bro, I didn't want it to be like this. <laughs> Why couldn't you have played along with me? It would have been real easy. Okay, this is bulletproof glass. I was gonna like, Chad, I was gonna talk him out the window too. There's all sorts of things I wanted to do, you know? But now what? Whatever, let's take a picture of him. I don't even need to kill him. Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Okay. That was easy. Do I add a tasteful filter? Hang on, I can do better than this. Eh, it's not much better. One. Okay. Okay. Now let's add like a nice, uh... Oh! Chad's fucking Tina. There it is. All right, ship it. That's the one. Okay. Well... Let's uh, pack him up. Well, I just fucking snapped his neck. Uh, I actually pressed the wrong button, but it's okay. You know, it's all right. <laughs> it's okay. Well, well, that's, that's irrelevant. It's irrelevant to the to the plan, Chad. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. Load save. I think not. Come on, we got work to do. We got, we got work to do. We got work to do. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> Again! I keep doing this! Any news on the new guard signed a code name Pinky? I got word that he entered the building, but he is not to Probably still down at the depot, because he's uniform. I gotta put these guys somewhere! I heard rumors that he used to work I gotta find a place to dump this guy! That's an elevator! Uh. <laughs> I do not want to know what you are planning to do with that body, mister. Nothing that, nothing of concern to you, Drop it. mister. Get on the ground, now. <laughs> Don't. We cool then? Everything cool. I gotta go to my job. God damn it, she cut through a wall. How many times I'm gonna have to clean this place up? Well, I guess we're cleaning. Oops. Don't. Oh. Oh. All right. Everything's cool now. I need to reload my game. I made a lot of big mistakes today. But I blame, I blame you guys. You keep yelling at me to do funny things. Okay, I blame you guys for this. This better be good. No, I have a good. reliable source that the Royal Highness. Yeah, 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 yeah. Omar. Whoa. Hey, you. No <laughs> okay, that time I decided not to. Uh... Oh wait, I need to take a picture of him. Uh oh. Stop. Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. There it is. Ah, yes, I could tell the fucking, you can, you can see the smell lines coming right off him. What? What? It's failed. Apparently that doesn't count well enough. It said I got it, but it didn't. 
Hey, man, make it. Yes, that's it. <laughs> now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. There, whatever. We got there. We got there. Pack him up. Let's get a move on. I'm even gonna save my game because I know that was the perfect way that could have gone. All right. Now, if you don't I mind, either. that's Marcus Stuyvesant, huh? Providence partner, self-entitled right and arrogant little worm. He might not look like much. Apparently, I'm part of their crew. The world <laughs> than you could dream. Apparently, I'm uh Back off a little. in with them, and I didn't even know it. Okay, that's right. No, never mind. I can. What's the update on my new guard? My current one has been on duty for way too long. I need security that's sharp and focused. We know he's arrived. I'm sure he's just changing into his uniform, and he'll be here very soon. I'm glad to hear, but I don't like to be kept waiting. Make sure he has his papers and call me, okay? Of course, sir. We'll let you know. Good. And please, when I come back, no more excuses. I'm a personal friend of His Royal Highness, Omar al Ghazali. Okay, this is pretty incriminating for me. Because the flash was on. Oops. <laughs> Not great. Flash was on. No, I could kill him right now. Wow, it actually chat. I could literally kill. This guard would not have been able. Guys, if I killed him right when he came out that door, I don't know if this guard could have stopped me. I could have totally taken him. That was just a free kill. I did that because I'm an asshole. No one's gonna be able to link that one to me. He tripped. All right. Sorry. You don't mind, do you? Oh, really? That was just me being an asshole. I also saw a winch thing there I could have fucked with. We'll come back to that, don't you worry. Where'd that guy fall? Is he? Oh, have no. Nice you fall from this thing, you're dead, dead, huh? Yikes. Ori landed right here. Nope, he dead, dead. I just killed him for freebies. Oh, I thought I was gonna kill myself with him. Uh, I'd like to get back up. Thanks. Just vault over it. Wait. Uh. All right, let's go tell the guy who took the picture. Let's stay focused. The Hitman, problem with Hitman is that it's a game where you can just get so fucking hey, lost. Hey, can you? How many? I think I can just be like a psycho that pushes people off of railings. Like, check out that coin. Okay, I forgot that if people see me throw a coin, they just think I'm an asshole. I was gonna try to push that lady off there, but I'm, I missed my window now. Hey guys. Yeah. Hey. I cannot believe they're not frisking me this time. What? Idiots. <laughs> Actually incompetent morons. Whatever. Hey, man, you came up here last time. I know you're cool. <laughs> Definitely not like you could change hey, your items or anything. Definitely not like you could have, like, grabbed a bunch of new things. Hi. Hey. I did the deed. Mr. Kazim, welcome back. Where's my... Where's my... So, you have the picture? Yeah. Give photo of Ingram's target. It's the one of the yes, pants, here. I think. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please oh wait, no, wait. that was actually a good picture. That was a good He's one. Waiting. What's this guy doing? Whatever. If you just follow me, Mr. Kazim. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I will do that. Is there a slow walk for Hitman? I can't remember if there's like a slower walk. So, do you like the building? Alt. No, that's... Hello? I can't hear you, I'm sorry, my camera zoomed out, I can't really... There we go. Everything here is completely self-sufficient. Electricity, internet, even water is clearly reused. 
It's the first of its kind on this scale. It was important for him to see, look I to see. the future. This place is lovely. Is all of this glass? It's not like either of us are in a position to judge. We do have a good day now. I can't believe they... Have you seen the view yet? It's Wouldn't people at one point ask about the barcode and be like, hey, day, can you explain you that? Like, that's a cool tattoo. That's like a desert. weird tattoo. That's it really interesting. And Agent 47 would just like freeze and start sweating. Because he's, like he's, he's like that, he's that, he's like a, he's like because of more boring smoke. than white bread. Like, he wouldn't know what to say. You know? Hey man, is your back, is the back of your head like an ARG? Dude, do I get like, do I get something if I scan this? And they're pulling out like fucking cell phones, trying to scan it and shit. Like this, this guy's a walking like fucking like he's just pulling everyone's attention. That would be like the first thing everyone would be asking. Here we are. Mr. Ingram is expecting you. Okay. Greetings, sir. Mr. Cassine. So good to see you. You have the picture. Depends. Do you have a private room that uh, we can be alone in? Blend in as penthouse staff. I thought I was about to just go to sleep on his bed. A good day to you. Yes. Your problem is fixed. <laughs> Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. Are we walking somewhere privately together? Okay, people, clear the room. Oh, I big need to mistake. Some delicate business with Mr. Kazan. Yeah, the two of us have to discuss something. Ah, we have Ingram right where we want Excuse him. Excuse me for a second. Forty-seven. You know what to do. Have a drink. See the view something to behold he was playing solitaire on this computer does the door close door close door don't close okay uh so do you want to talk we wanted to talk yes clear the room we have things to talk about but he's I'm sorry about that oh, okay now where were we now i know this guy didn't clear the room! My man here will stay for the meeting. I assume that will not be a problem. Either way, you have no choice in the matter. Okay, but you said one man. Now there are two men. It's interesting we haven't come across each other before, Mr. Kazim. Yes. Well, maybe not. It quite is. I'm, uh, Hitman's just forgotten he's supposed to be killing idea. this guy. I think I'll join you. Yes. Now, as I was saying, it's interesting we haven't come across each other before, Mr. Kazim. Yes. Well, maybe not. I usually have my people talk to people like you. I can imagine. I don't know how much Omar, I mean... You guys want anything? Highness ...has told you. I you want anything? My guess is very little, so let me get straight to the point. My organization you guys, you two has want been anything? hit by an unpleasant cancer that can yeah. only be removed by cutting it out of the gut. I got Dr. Pep. You guys want Dr. Pep? If you get my drift. Yes, I do. Good. This hey, is... have a drink. Hey, oh. ah, reckless hey, hey, I need help. Ah, oh, Jesus. My God. You are. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that was really easy. All right. Well, <coughs> Carl Ingram finally gets what he deserves. Good riddance. Now let's get Marcus Stuyvesant. Man, Dr. Pep's are OP, dude. I love throwing weapons in this game. Now, how do I make this look like a big accident? Oh, the blood. Uh. It tr uh. Went outside. They slipped. Ooh, he, he bounced right off of that fucking thing, is the thing, chat. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> we can't have witnesses, chat. It's better to get rid of them entirely. Don't you see? It's better. Where the hell did this one go? Oh, there he is. My throwing skills are immaculate. All right, come on. 
All right, the getting rid of the witnesses is extra. Now let's just get rid of the, let's just get rid of, we're gonna take some of their clothes because the assassin is now meaningless. His job has been done. It's over for him. So we're gonna take his clothes and we're gonna drag this guy outside. We're gonna just dump him somewhere on the ground floor. Probably make it even easier for people to find the bodies, honestly. Bald spot. Is it worse to have a bald spot like that or be a bald like this? You know what I mean? I think, I feel, I get this feeling that it's, that it's better to be like Hitman at this point. Cause that bald spot was like extremely noticeable. Spot is worse. That's what I'm thinking. Chrome dome is hot personally. Well, the way you word it doesn't make it sound like you think it's hot. You know what I mean? Like, you make it sound like it's like, wow, this is actually extremely obvious. Wow, you walk in and you just see like three spill zones. Oh, no. Oh, oh yeah, whatever. I forgot we have cover in this game. No one uses cover in Hitman, though. For good reason. Well. <sighs> You guys have a good day. Fuck. Fucking Paul. That guy knows me. All right. Where's the other guy? Downstairs. We gotta get farther downstairs. I'm not technically- I don't have that much clearance, but I did kill a security guard and like- Fuck. Where the hell's the exit? But I like looking oh, this is the exit. We gotta get- we gotta get to the- we gotta leave. Let's get, let's get the fuck out of this place. The relationship between them and their no one thinks this is weird. Of course, I mean, I don't know why I'm pointing this out. This is obvious Hitman shit. No one thinks it's weird. No one thinks it's like off for even a second that I'm doing this. Hang on, we'll just, we'll just get back downstairs and find that guy who apparently needs a new guard. And now I'm dressed to be a guard. I could just kill these two right now and easily get a guard costume for the other guy. Because these are the right costumes. I think I could just do it like an instant tap tap and not even get noticed and then just drag them both into this corner and just get away with it. You guys want to see how good my aim is? This is like, this is like, guys, get ready to fucking like, get ready to pogfish, all right? Because I'm about to fucking pop off. <laughs> all right, well, we almost got it all the way. We almost got it. It was still pretty epic. It was still sort of epic. Oh, these are penthouse guards. Never mind, I don't really need you. I'm wearing red, I don't need them. It's sort of like a thief power. It's like the thief thing, you know, or like. I'm technically not gonna get in. Like, technically doesn't help my score. Shifty. But. You know, it makes me feel like even more powerful when I instantly kill like 10 people in a room without being noticed, you know? Oh, it makes me feel more powerful. Everyone recognizes I am the guy, you know? Where the hell is this guy? Anyways, should be right in here. Should be right in here and around this corner and down the stairs. Lock on! All right, now we just tail him. How are you, boy? Guess who? What? Okay, guys, I'm his new security detail. I'm with him now. Let's see what he does. Could just kill him. All right, we'll follow him for a little bit. Sorry. Fuck. He didn't even notice. He didn't notice. He didn't notice. He didn't notice. God, what an irritating moment I believe. Just call me a woman? What's he talking about? Where's it go? Alright, I'll tell him. Just follow him. Oh, he's going into a kill zone. He's going back to the thing. I just gotta get fucking I gotta get rid of this clown. Sorry. This guy's very tolerant about my bumping. I just gotta dispose of this clown. Do you guys think I can here's the thing. Silent weapons in this game are sort of OP and have some weird bullshit about them. 
Okay, not bad. All right, I thought maybe I could get away with it, but the door was open, and I think they just heard that guy hit the ground after that. So probably not as sneaky as I thought on that one. That probably, that didn't really pay off. All right, all right, all right dumbass, take that. Shut up, chat. Excuse me. Has my replacement guard turned up yet? Sir, I, we have word that he's arrived. I'm just waiting for him to turn up. It's me. Good. Remember to check his papers before you call me. I don't want some snot-nosed newbie. I'll call you as soon as he turns up. You better. It was me. I'm coming along. Okay, he's leaving again. I'm gonna keep following and finding out. That Rangan guy. What is Never dealing with? I need to get rid of this evidence soon, though. I gotta kill everyone in this room. Wait. Oh, here he comes. Fuck, I could've blocked him. Hang on, I can still- I can stop this guy. We can slow this guy down. Fuck! He's good. This is a- this- this guard's on top of it. But is he- but... It's over. Excuse me. I've talked to one of your people inside the exhibition, but I think she is kind of- Yes. <laughs> Distracted by the fucking vacuum. I'm not surprised. One of the easiest fucking plays in the game. And now I'm his guard. <laughs> and now it should be a piece of cake to finish the job. Whenever I see good, fit, chat. Looking good. Thanks. Now he's all alone. He won't even notice the different clothing. That's right. He won't notice anything. So now we just tail him. All right, we'll see where we can get rid of him. Sir, you ready to go on? Sir? Sir, are you ready to go on, sir? All right, we're going on. Whatever this is, we're going on. Oh, this is a beautiful place to murder a man. There's like, I could hide right behind those blocks. Wow, this is great. But it's, it's too easy. He hasn't even noticed. He doesn't even know, dude. He doesn't even know his guard's gone. It is a very nice light fixture. a very nice lamp. Sir. Yep, walk through the water park with your nice shoes that definitely are not very water resistant. No. Still not feeling the sun. Oh, I have to talk to that useless technician lady again. Feeling the sun? Missing fuse cell. I can cook this guy with this light. I'm going to make him feel the sun. Check. I need to find a fuse cell, however. I'm guessing he's going to talk to it right now and I'm missing my chance to make this very easy for myself. You still have my number, right? I tapped it into my speed dial. Well, that's one thing you've got right. Get it fixed and call me, but I will be back to check, no matter what. Can you please get the sun fixed? This crazy man is killing me down here. I need to ask you <sighs> about where the- All I can do is cross my fingers. Fuses, because I think I missed my chance. I bet I could find it if I looked hard enough, but it might be easier if I just reload. And run. I mean, he's got to walk all the way back, though. I'm gonna take my chances feeling it. You know, I got a good. I got a good fucking sense for this kind of stuff, chat. Oh wait, this saved right here.
It didn't unlock the story last time, chat, so I can't follow it. I know, like, oh, press F1, press F1. It didn't unlock it. It would tell me. I played a lot of Hitler. Why is this not working? <clears throat> so unprofessional. Art is money and it needs to be perfect. I agree, I'm... sir. I talk to that airhead technician again. <clears throat> I'm gonna act like the fucking... I'm, gonna... I'm his guard, dude. I gotta be more of an asshole to people that inconvenience my boy, you know? While he's still my boy. Hey! Big man wants to talk to you, all right? All right, now, now, now I look more convincing. This guy still doesn't even realize his actual guard. Excuse me. The sun is still not as it should be. Do you know how expensive this installation is? Everything has to be perfect or it has no purpose. Oh, it's you again. We are doing our best. Your best is good I enough. I don't care for your constant excuses. Fix it. Or do you want me to go and complain to his royal highness personally? You still have my cell number, I hope. Uh-huh. I still have your number, sir. Well, then fix it. Call me when it's done. Now we have all the look. Please, please, please fix the sun. I'm dying down here. There we go. Art crew. Marcus isn't happy with the sun's lack of oomph. He has instructed someone from the art crew to give him a call once they have fixed the sun. Yes. Hey, can I borrow your phone so I can call him? I didn't get any waypoint for it, so I guess I'm just gonna go find it myself. Which is fine by me. Yeah, this ain't a story. Well, it's not a, it's not, it didn't give me a waypoint for a story. That's fine, I can, I can find a fuse. How hard can it be to find a fuse? Just walk around some of these weirdo areas and we'll just fucking magically find them. Standing very close to me, sir. Please back me. <laughs> yes. 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 It's okay, I already knew I was gonna get rid of the security. And that's all, I know where the security box is. We'll just get rid of it. Just like we're gonna have to get rid of you, baby. See you later. Don't be Colin, fuck him. What is this? Fuses. I'm looking for a fuse. Check. Remember, if he comes back and we still haven't found it, I can always go with plan two, which is uh, shoot and kill him with my gun, which is also really easy and helps me meet my quota for the stream for levels. You know? It'll be super easy to fix this. By just shooting him. Dude, there is a children's birthday party on the... Whose body is that? Oh, I killed those guys ages ago. Good news is... It's irrelevant. They're meaningless. I have nothing to do with that. I have, I have nothing to do with those, chat, so don't even worry. Don't even worry, dude, it's fine. No one can prove I had anything to do with that. Alright? Sir, do you have a- you know we could find some fuses? There's no way we keep the fuses. There's no way we keep, uh, more screwdrivers. Guys, know we keep fuses to fix the, uh, thing? What is this? Oh, propane. That's like one of the best weapons in the game. Yeah, this'll do us some good. Uh, Y'all know where we uh, keep the fuses. I need to talk to someone about the fuses. God damn it! Does anyone know where we keep those? I'm just a little bit turned around. Uh, um, mm -mm -mm. 
Hey, you. I don't like you. I don't like you either. Don't follow. Please don't follow. Please don't follow. You lost me. Uh, laundry room? Nothing. Just need a fuel cell. Just gotta find fuel. Just need, a, just, just need like a cell, like a fuse. Anything. Anything fuse cell -y. Hello? Fuse cell. Hey, how you doing? That's it. I have a way to make it blow up like the sun. <laughs> It'll cause the same cinematic effect. I'll just leave this tank by it, and when it comes by, I'll shoot it through that glass. <laughs> All right, if he comes back and we still haven't figured it out, this is plan B. This is the budget approach. What hey, mister, I, I think you dropped something. Shut hey. up, lady. If she fucking touches it, it's screwdriver to the neck. I don't fucking care. Hi. You want me to fix it? Wait, how am I supposed to call her to tell him that it's fixed if she has the phone and number? I might have to kill her. Mmm, mmm, Chad. Lots of hmms. This is a different fuse box, I think. Remember not to let anyone have the phone. This is, yeah, this is a different fuse box. I, I, I gotta kill these two. Hang on, I need to know if this is it. I can easily stash them both inside this box, no problem. I gotta kill them. They both gotta die. I gotta shoot them. I'm killing them. They're dead. They're dead and they don't even know it. Wait, what? Is there a fuse in here? There it is. <laughs> Sorry, lady. Wrong place, wrong time, lady. You're at the wrong place, the wrong time. Wrong place, wrong time, you gotta be here at the right time next time. Cold blood? Gasp? Chat, the first time you play through a Hitman level is meant to have fun and do whatever you want, dude. You wanna rate, you wanna chase those fucking high scores? You do that in post, dude. All I'm after is the fucking rush. You know what I mean? Fuck, he's in here right now! I got very limited time! What the? Ah, oh, I fused it! I did it in the wrong spot, dude! Where is it then? Which one of these is the right thing? Probably one upstairs, maybe? He doesn't know. The backup plan, he's already gone. Fuck! God damn it! No! It was this one. If I reload an autosave, I might be able to get it. Or maybe they'll just call him. Ah, oh, that is pretty fucking bright. You think he's gonna come back now? He's gonna see the sun light up his day? And he's gonna fucking come back and, like... Son, please. Oh, can I have that phone? gonna be a long day. Lady, can I have that phone? The sun. It's fixed. It should glow as specified. Wonderful. Yeah, I can see that. Hopefully wow. that weird man will finally leave me alone. Gross. You're Bro. my hero. <laughs> I'm certain he won't bother you anymore. Thank you. I have to get rid of this gun. We'll use the we'll use the propane backup. How Lady, about you show some respect. That's not to sack of potato. Stark. Fuck. 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 I gotta clean this whole place up for, before he gets here. I gotta get rid of all these bodies. Everyone's gotta be moved. He's coming. 
He's coming right now! <laughs> He's coming here right now! We gotta get rid of the bombs! <gasps> I'm cool. Contact, get in cover. Harrison, I got your six. Now flush him out in the open. Cover oh my God. That's it, where is he? <laughs> Move! Huh? Oh, God. <gasps> Sir! Kill someone like this. Fire man, one guy. Using human shields, I'm not surprised. No more profit. <laughs> All right, we got robbed there, chat. You guys know it as well as I do that we got robbed. Let's do it a little bit faster. You know what I mean? It's fine. There's no witnesses because they're all dead. Now we just plug this bad boy in and it's good to go. Extra, extra loud. This one is going to be it. Oh yeah, this guy's gonna walk right into it, chat. Bada bing. I get a picture of this. The propane chat. We got them for the seven. Soon there will be no more providence. And you need to find an exit. Our business is the done double. Here, but it's far from over. Oh, the double! I gave him the double! He is the sun! There's nothing left of his body. It's time to go. Ha! Why didn't you do that the first time? I wanted to see both happen at the same time. Wow, epic. Wow, guys. So because that was offline, I didn't actually get any progression towards mastering this uh, level, meaning I don't unlock any new things or anything, which is uh, pretty epic that um, Hitman 3 is an online only experience, apparently, if you want to uh, unlock things. <laughs> that's really good. That's uh, that's actually like epic. That's, that's really awesome. So I wasn't even given a score then. Nope, no score. Nothing. None of it mattered. If that's your winning face, I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the constant. Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once, we can do it again. And, well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look, you don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. He's talking about Diane. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did, she'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Don't touch me. Come on. I've got sensitive skin. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Oh. 
Aside from that point thing, the game is great. That level was awesome for an intro level. I liked it a lot. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. Miss Burnwood, I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but I'm evil. Don't be silly. <laughs> I just played the hand I was yes. dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. I'm a bad, bad, bad man. Agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough. Miss Burnwood. Can you tell from my voice? That I'm not a good guy. Should I try to turn on the fucking online then? <laughs> Cause like... I just got really fucking... I got really screwed over there. Cause the server's broke. Cause I didn't get any points for any of that. I mean it would've been a shitty score anyways, but it would've unlocked some things. And it's not like I'd be replaying the levels on stream, but I might unlock like a new weapon. Or something because of how good I am. The servers are just down, aren't they? The servers are offline, probably entirely. Which is a pretty bad fucking look, IO. <laughs> this isn't an Epic Games thing. This is an IO Interactive thing, and that's a bad look when your entire progression loop for the game isn't fucking offline, like functional. I games as a service in single-player games, dude. Always fun, always a really good time. Hey, why can't more games be like, be like fucking Monster Hunter World? You know, yeah, don't set leaderboards. Don't let them save leaderboards, but the rest, let them do whatever the fuck they want. Offline, dude, it doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, there is no online, can't do it. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and then uh, we'll go to the next level, I guess. Okay, BRP. What's up? No copyright for the music? I would operate in the assumption this music is not copyright. I would operate in the assumption I'm not gonna get in trouble for listening to the music in Hitman. Either way, let's continue. She came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. Are these scenes shot in 1080p? Because they don't feel, this doesn't so, feel high res. The end of the line. Oh, it's totally recorded in 1080. Are you? 100%. Who will you be? Without a score. On my one 440 monitor, this feels very <laughs> shitty I guess quality. the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Like a low resolution movie. Alexa Carlisle is dead. According to the this funeral invitation, though. that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table. Aside from the, the fact that I can actually see artifacting Carlisle, in it, wisely sensing that I can count the pixels has in the artifacts. Has emerged to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlyle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlyle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. 
Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. <laughs> While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlyle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house. Meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. Oh my god. It began here, and it ends here. Unless there's five Talk more levels or so after this. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlisle keeps a case file on the Constant. Information that may be helpful in his recapture. So don't leave the estate without it. You think she's going to conveniently right. stand on a balcony like Happy that and just instantly kill her from like downstairs like, the in the courtyard and do like an actual speed run? Because, dude, honestly, the most fun level of Hitman was the racing one, like the, the first level of uh, Hitman 2 for me, because you could actually, like, I could actually beat that level in about two minutes. Climb up on a balcony, you instantly shoot the uh, lady's car as she's driving by, instantly kill her, and then like turn to the left and shoot a guy in the window. And you've won. And then you can leave and you get like a you get like a high score. Like I actually sped run that level for a little while. Just because I wanted to see how fast I could do it. Ooh! I'm gonna pack the red gun. Buy a wire coin. Wow, we have like nothing. I mean, Cause I don't have anything unlocked, dude. Cause I don't have anything unlocked, and I won't get anything unlocked because. Because online only, smile. I'd like a briefcase. With a second gun. <laughs> Inside the briefcase, I want a second gun. My backup gun. Good. I just pricked easy mode, didn't I? I didn't mean to do that. Hang on. Hold up, chat. I didn't really, uh... Thorn? Stop it. I didn't mean to press easy mode. I wanted to do professional mode. Oh, I might have... Click. There we go. Ah, easy baby. Shut up! Thornbridge Manor. The Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children Younger brother Zachary, grandson, and daughter-in-law are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. I won't be detective. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls. I like the look of this map. This is some. This is some. I really like the look of this place. I got a good feeling about this level. I got a real good feeling about this level. Well, here we are. Okay. All right. That's my guy. This is a private area, sir. Phineas Whitmer. Private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. He's our guy. We're gonna take his clothes and become him and be a detective. With it. Now. Okay. Come on, stand up. You can go right in. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. Well, this is pretty easy. <laughs> what a shitty, what a shitty wall. Why even bother making a checkpoint? A famous private investigator summoned by Alexa Car- Wait a minute, let's follow that. 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 Let's tail this guy. Man, this guy's got eyes like a hawk, dude. I really need this guy's fucking clothes, chat. He's reading something. 
He's writing things. Write that down, Chad. Write that down. Everyone, we need to, like, track his fucking movement. Write that down. Don't let anything buy you. We need everything this guy does. We need to know when he goes to the bathroom. He looks like he's got weak bladder like me. Can I take you to Madame Carlyle? Please do. If you'd follow me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't go. I know I oughtn't say anything, but I'm so relieved you're here. Fuck. Everything's just so strange. Preparing for Madame's funeral, and then she turns up alive. But then the awful business with her brother Zachary. Fuck. Then, I'm I supposed to get him like this. I missed my chance. I've never seen the place guarded like this, and... Uh, and I dare say I... Oh, like by the way... Now I told Kate about those texts. Any close. What did she say? We'll catch him. Oh, I thought she'd be mad at me, but she just thanked We'll catch him. Me, said she understood the position I was in. Yeah, I think my biggest issue with Hitman it always has been is that I always feel like I'm on an arbitrary time limit just because I'm going to miss, like, certain things you will just miss if you don't go fast enough in the level. I know. And it sort of stresses me out. I guess you know? I thought she was going to read into them and freak out. It always has. There's going to be clothes over here. We can get we can get into the building through this area. I know. Watch this. Life can be tough sometimes. <laughs> and that detective oh. asked to come here. Madame Carlyle must believe Zachary was murdered. Why else ask him to snoop around? Give me this. Oh, I feel weak in my knees from all the tension here. Don't worry. I'm sure everything will settle. This down. guy's gonna be the guy. This guy's gonna get his clothes right now. Oh yeah, it's him. He's gonna stop smoking right now. And decide to stand somewhere like over by that wall. Alone. Or he's gonna keep standing right here. Okay, he's not going. Okay, in that case... Is the detective mobile? The detective's fucking mobile. I need to get inside. This plan was a... This plan was a fluke! <laughs> We're gonna have to go with my plan! I'll be back for your briefcase, Chan! But I gotta get inside the manor. We get inside, we steal some clothes. Then we find the detective. And then it should be a piece of cake. You just have to fucking get someone. Alright, it should be easy. Just get someone. And find an open window. Junior calling from Morgan Yates and Cone. I need to get a listing of asset transfers from the Carlisle account HTC depot number 5085. Uh, no, I need it immediately. Excuse me, you're not allowed here, yes, you know. I'll hold. You lost me. Yes, I'm still I here. I can't have made myself clear. This it doesn't area exist. is what do you restricted. Mean it exist? Sorry. What's wrong with you? Sorry, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Get yourself enough of this. Show me your hands. Let me see your hands. I'm going to take you down. You'll have to find me first. <laughs> this is not. This is not my best day. <laughs> Where's the detective? Why are you hiding him? Just leave me alone. All right. I mean, guys, he led me to believe I had gotten away with it, right? Like he fucking sat there for a while while I was behind that display, not doing anything. She understood the position I was in. Uh, we had a really good talk about it, actually. Eh. Oh, what did I tell you? She's a sensible woman. And that stuff from your ex was like manipulation 101. This is I know. What I, mean. I know. You have to be patted down I before I you see Madame Carlyle inside. Oh, I could just cry. I have done something to provoke her. Shit, man. Where is he going? Really did a number on you. So, I just need to check. That's a bit excessive, I think. Considering the fact that I spotted no less than two routes to get inside the house unseen. We know what we're doing, sir. Don't worry about that. This guy's on to me. <laughs> this guy's on to me. He might even know I'm on him right now. Make that three. Make that three routes into the house. Fuck. Too many, too many witnesses. Make that three routes. Staff room? Don't make it this easy. <laughs> uh, this is psycho shit. Shah! <laughs> 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 
That's as simple as that, baby. You made a big mistake coming here. I'm you now. Should have counted the third entrance. Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get into, I'll get into the staff room for a minute. Hang on, actually, that's probably even more dangerous to do. Hang on. You drop... Retrieve the gun. <laughs> I got a whole process, chat. Okay, I gotta retrieve this gun. Drop the briefcase. Switch to sword. Conceal sword. Then pick up briefcase. I've placed a sword in the briefcase. It's my dueling saber. It's part of my detective shtick, you know? And now we save. Now we are the detective, and no one can doubt that. It's fine. Mr. Whitmer, thank you for coming on such short notice. A great tragedy what? has fallen. That is Alexa Kyle, That lady's supposed to be dead! An official leader of the province. A fucking ghost in the building or something! <laughs> That's Madame Carlyle taking care of. Turn out the file on Arthur Edwards. <laughs> I just get detective just freaks out. You're dead. This is your funeral. Mr. Whitney, uh, thank you for coming on such short notice. Yes. A great tragedy has fallen upon us, and I need a quick resolution handled with absolute discretion. Results and discretion are my speciality. And where's my camera? Very well. I see. That's a picture of a dead person. Hang on, I need to... Suppose you will want to start at the crime scene. In my okay. experience, a thorough examination of a potential crime scene is half the job done. I'm live streaming this. Say what you, you want to say in the camera. Hi, Mr. Phelps. You want to say, say cheese. Madam... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm streaming this right now. You want to... You want to take? Carlisle has asked me to assist you in any way possible. Hello, sir. Mr. Mr. Okay. Are we going? Oh, this is a terrible picture. <laughs> Why do they look so angry? What's up with the eyebrows? <laughs> I could take a better picture right now. Hey, you want to see my live stream? Put this in gray. Looking good. Thanks. You're also looking good. Uh, well, this is awkward. Shut up. And the filter actually makes it so dark inside. Excuse me. Dude, am I the only person that fucking hates paintings? Not like, paintings of people. I mean, I think they're creepy. I don't really like anything like this. I think they're look. I don't like them. Honestly, I don't even like photos of people in buildings. I don't know why. I just don't, I don't like things looking at me, you know? Pisses me off a little bit, honestly. Nah, nah, you don't have the right clearance, mister. Please, don't waste my time. But I'm supposed to, Go talk to her. Alexa? Alexa? No, no, no! Ow! Ow! My name is Elf! Where were we, man? She said the butler takes over three minutes ago. I was too busy streaming! I was streaming! Mr. Whitmer, thank you for coming on such short notice. A great tragedy has fallen upon us, and I need a quick resolution handled with absolute okay. discretion. Results and discretion are my... I was streaming. Speciality. Very well. I suppose you will want to start at the crime scene. In my experience, a thorough examination of a potential crime scene 
is half the job done. Good. Fernsby will take over from here. Okay, now I, I understand. Mr. the butler. Madam Carlyle has asked me to assist you in any way possible. Don't get so close to me. Mr. Whitmer, I understand that you've traveled from London. Yes. Would you care for some refreshments? Or do you prefer to... Man, this guy's got such a face, dude. I love it. To go straight to Mr. Zachary's sleeping quarters. I could go. I prefer to get I could started, go get started. As you wish. If you'll follow me, sir. No, Chad, I'm gonna have to fake being a professional. And that's why that using the camera is very important to this job. Okay. I can't believe she let me follow her as far as she did. And then that guy didn't actually stop me. He would have probably let me walk all the way by and continue following to point her. Out, the current affairs surrounding Madame Carlyle are of a delicate nature. I see. You may be familiar with the recent announcement of her death. You will probably learn that the staged funeral is scheduled to take this tomorrow. Madam's children were not informed until this morning that their mother was I see. not dead at all. So please bear with me. You know, a person could easily have done a murder and then escaped this way. You know that, right? I'm looking for I fingerprints. Give me a second. to remind you that there will be consequences if word gets out that Madam Carlyle is still alive. Of course, I understand. I'll consider her dead when I leave. Yes. Before you inspect the crime scene, I will tell you this. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary, Madam Carlyle's younger brother. No! He was found dead in his bed. I'm gonna morning. push him off. If he gets on the balcony, I push him. The door I kill him. was locked. I gotta save. I, I, I won't be able to. I won't be able to help myself. If he gets near that balcony, I shove him off. From the inside. Fuck. And he's a suicide lucky. letter was found in his room. I see. However, Madam Carlyle suspects foul play, and will not accept that he took his own life. I've prepared some information for you, so please do come and see me when you've finished your investigation. This right. detective, he's weird, this but he gets the job done. He's thorough. For my right. I'm sniffing around for fucking fingerprints on the balcony, because anyone, if I can do this, anyone can do it. Anyone could escape this way in a murder scenario. All right, there's nothing here. All right, you have a good day now. A locked room murder mystery, 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Yes. Mm, let's get to it, Chad. Let's take a look around and see what I can see. What I can see. Why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body, 47? Why don't you stop telling me what to do? I do. Throat markings indicate a rare, short-lived plant poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. You do know your poisons, 47. I, uh, I use rat poison. Oh my God. Whiskey. He must have drank this when he died. Well, that's it. Mm, uh, what's this though? What else does the game want for me? I think I, I think that's everything. He drank a thing and he died because the poison was in there. Unless. Hmm. Chad, we have to think. We have to think. We have to use our brain here. The poison must have gotten in the room somehow. To a vent. To the ceiling. There could be poison. Poison could be hiding anywhere. <gasps> Get the fuck out of here! You're ruining the crime scene! Why did he touch something? Asshole. I have no idea what the fuck you could have tampered with. Oh, something. Hang on, a laptop. Let me hack this. Zachary was shopping for new Wellingtons last night. My God. We get pictures. Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. Hmm. I got some reviews. Jack says these Wellingtons are pretty good. But they are too big. Hang on. But they are too big. The men. Why, why? They're too big. They can't be nines. Uh, why do shoemakers do this? He's got small feet. I dreamt I was going to buy some Wellingtons. So I bought a pair of Wellingtons. But they were too big, so I sent them back. 
I see. It's just a bunch of people saying that she was... The latest installment of our popular Wellington boot is now even more water resistant. And the unique insole design will make them fit your feet perfectly. Seriously, they fit like a glove. No, says Jack. No, uh says Anton. Chad, I have an idea. Chad, I have an idea. Chad, I know what happened. He ordered Wellingtons. He, he, has a, he already has a pair of Wellingtons, Chad. But while he was walking around his greenhouse, he tripped because the Wellingtons were too big. He was clumsy. He tripped. His mouth went right on poison. Poison plant. He ate the poison plant by accident. He tripped right onto it. And then the poison got in his throat. He went back upstairs said it probably won't kill him. And it killed him that night. He tried to order new ones because he didn't like how he slipped on the poison. What else could there be? There still has to be something else. What's this? Of course. A hidden door. It's a secret passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey! Someone take my briefcase, assholes! I think someone did. I think it did say someone stashed it. I also don't think that's the right stairwell. A two-way mirror. Hmm. A one-way mirror. A photocopy of the floor plans. <laughs> Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. And what's this here? I think the crime scene has more clues, 47. I mean, I know, Diana, I was just checking for other stuff. Feel like a minute. Fuck. Like, I can, like, just give me a minute before you, like, tell me, and your voice, I have to turn around. Come on. I was just looking. Zachary's suicide note. Zachary's suicide note. Oh. Suicide note, it reads, I am haunted by horrible past choices and all their, and their all consuming consequences. Alexa was the rat keeping me afloat. Without her, I cannot go on. Goodbye, signed Zachary. Doesn't everyone here have the memo that she was fucking planning on faking it? Doesn't everyone else know? She like just forgot to tell him, dude. I don't, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. There's something off. There's something off. Alexa was the raft keeping me afloat. It used to be my Wellingtons, but they actually... They didn't really resist water as much as they said on the Amazon uh, page. So, uh... Yeah, that wasn't great either. The raft is officially taking on water. The Wellingtons are just fucking inundated with water. Goodbye. A sample of handwriting. I see. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene, 47. And now Maybe to do crime. to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. And now it's time, chat, to do some crime. Oh, probably put this away. Okay. Still the knife out? Can't see my hands. I do have the knife out. What's like the sheath button, chat? I know there is one, but I can never remember. There we go, middle mouse button. Got it. Butler? How do I get back downstairs again? Uh, I'm lost. I was hoping he'd hang out with me because I don't know where I am. I guess this is the, no, that's not the street. Where the hell? What kind of design is this place? Oh, here it is. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Sir. Where the hell's the butler? I need to tell him that I did, I did the job. Also, someone stashed my fucking briefcase with the sword in it. Butler! Mr. Fernsby. I did it. I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. Yes. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madame's family and myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. No, 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 got him. Like we got him. Oh my God. Hands over your head. I got him, but you got the wrong guy. You got the wrong guy. Put him on. 
What a fucking idiot. He fucking revealed it to me. He fucking, he fucking, he fucking gave himself away, chat. God, he's good. He always does. It's always the butler. Chat, it's always the butler. You guys should know the rules by now. The case fucking cl Don't call me a dipshit. Call this butler a dipshit for giving himself away. But how do I take him down? <laughs> but how do I get rid of him? Let's take a picture of him doing the crime. Doing another crime. Mr. Fernsby, I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. That means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madam's family and myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. I was alone in my office at the time of death. Here is the material that I've prepared for you. Here's what I like to think, like, like my face when I'm like, playing games on I usually don't have a smile on my face when I do things on stream, you know? I usually have a face like this, and it all comes- it comes out more alive. It comes out like I'm happy. But, like, I've got- I've got, like, this resting, tired, fucking old man face most of the time every day. You know? Those- look at those- you, look at those bags! You know? Wow. <laughs> wow. The filter availability in this game is fucking pathetic, though, I'm gonna be honest. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. I see. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case, and I will take you to Madame Carlyle. Sure, of course. This is very useful information, 47. Wow, we got a lot of these. Okay. Gregory Carlyle, the oldest child of Alexa Carlyle, uh, Gregory's a suspect, suspect in the murder of Zachary. Uh, middle child? Okay. Wow, dude, I gotta take a picture of Edward. I gotta take a pic of him. You can unlock more filters online. Oh. Oh. Rebecca, youngest child. Emma is the daughter-in-law to her. Patrick. Son of Emma and Gregory. And the butler. We've already questioned. We know it was the- It's always the butler. So how does one solve a murder mystery, 47? Motive means an opportunity, I believe. I mean- May I suggest you ask the suspects for alibis? This is just so or wild. you prefer searching the manor for clues first. Chat, just imagine fucking actually walking in to murder some lady, and instead you do her detective work for her that she paid someone to do, and then kill her anyways at the end. This is like, Hitman's not, Agent 47 is not good at his job. He's easily distracted. He gets like fucking distracted like the second like a fucking laser pointer dot goes near him. Like he's just fucking chasing like whatever the fuck he wants to do. And then he like remembers at the end, oh fuck, I gotta kill this lady. And then he just fucking shoots her. Like, like I could easily go upstairs at any point, walk by all the guards and fucking instantly kill her. Like, just don't, don't ever forget that. It'd be so easy. What are you up to? Zoomer. He's reading about guns! Bad idea. He's stroking the gun book. <laughs> Fancy a game of pool.
Don't. Don't do it. You haven't saved in so, so long. You haven't saved in forever. You can't do this. I gotta do it! I got. I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have. There was no point. That, that didn't even. It didn't even land. Cause that's why this game needs quick saving. Like anything funny that you want to do, is to the wind is taken out of your sails so fast because you have to stop the game to save. Fancy to play a game, your perhaps final game. Uh, sorry, man, but you're just making me feel a little uncomfortable now. No, please go okay. on. So, how long have you been working here? About so, a month. So, how long have you're American? What on earth are you doing in this shithole? A girl like you belongs in clubs. In I need London. to ask you a couple of questions. Hey, back off a bit, would you? I need to. I need to you're American. What on earth are you doing in this shit? I'm gonna make. Uh, it, I, I'm not waiting for this you fucking are conversation. My personal. Oh. Wow. Go get that. What was that noise? Now we can talk. Oh, this day keeps getting better and better. My impatience is going to be my downfall in a case like this, chat. You're American. What on earth are you doing in this shithole? A girl like you belongs in clubs in London. I bet you're a great dancer. I Talk later, okay? What? How's everything coming along, Helene? Very well, Mr. Fernsby. Make sure you focus on your work. I will. I don't need one more maid crying in the kitchen. So watch yourself. Patrick Carlyle. Patrick, Patrick Carlyle. Where you were yesterday evening. Oh, shit, it's that sneaky butler, isn't it? He ratted me out. Elaine, give us some privacy, would you? Yes, how about you give us some privacy as well? Don't tell mother, okay? She's really tense these days, and the last thing I need is more hassle. I took that pretty blonde, um, <laughs> Rosie, uh, for an evening stroll. <laughs> You'll burst. I mean, how the fuck am I expected to cope for an entire weekend in this shithole? I'm bored Premarital out of sex! So, is that it? What did you think of Zachary? Oh, creepy as hell. No ambition. Imagine deciding to live in a museum. You know, father says Zachary and Alexi used to be two of a kind. Right, he right. Had a great future ahead of him. Then suddenly, he just gave up everything. What an idiot. Not even a premarital sex, premarital stroll, which is even worse. I don't have to worry about the inbreedings her customer in these circles. If that's all, I think I'll get back to my slow. Have you seen any suspicious? Did you see anything suspicious last night? Anything? I reckon Zachary topped himself. I know I would have. Or perhaps Mr. Fernsby. I don't like him. Oh my god. He could have done it. I do agree. It could have been Mr. Fernsby. But there's no reason to not kill every single one of them once I've interrogated them. You know what I mean, chat? Because then, no matter what, I'm right. You know what I mean? Like, why not murder- It's me. Uh, Got your text. Get back to you later. What were you about to do? It saved the game, he started talking. Now he's back to reading a book. He's about to say something. Is this Mr. Fernsby? Mr. Fernsby. Mr. Fernsby. Mr. Whitmer, you have enough evidence to present your case for Madame Carlyle? No, not yet. Come and see me when you do. Oh, I was about to accuse him. I guess I can't accuse him yet. All right, let's find the other people. And ask them what their deal is as well. All right, we are a professional detective. We have to- Token to Madame Carlyle's daughter. Rebecca? Yes. She's insistent, that one. She kept asking all kinds of questions. Who had the other one? Why I gave it to her, that sort of thing. You did make sure she didn't see you give the other one to the butler. Oh, of course. The butler? According to the bodyguards, Rebecca Carlyle and Mr. Fernsby, the butler, have each given a token for the Milton Fitzpatrick Bank. Okay, when combined, the tokens grant access to a deposit box to whoever holds the set. This deposit box may as well contain a copy of the case file on Arthur Edwards. Well, I guess the butler's dying. I'm going to need this hat. 
It's it's crucial to the investigation. Stop right there. Rebecca Carlisle. Rebecca Carlisle. Can you tell me about yesterday evening? We don't really see much of each other, my brothers and I. I suppose it takes our mother's funeral to bring us uh, hells together, and even going on in here, dude. Laps. Now let's see. Uh, Patrick, uh, Gregory's son, disappeared uh, straight after dinner. You know, I think he might be in some sort of trouble. Edward wanted to go as well, but Gregory convinced him to stay for a few drinks before they went off for a pint at the local zebra at in the back, tonight. though. A big smile. I swear Gregory enjoys Edward's discomfort over staying here. Sorry, I we were having a conversation. I'm sorry. Office at nine, so I spent three hours on my laptop in my room. Right. And went straight to bed afterwards. I don't know about Emma. She did act a bit strange. What did she? You know, I bet she was making lists for changes needing to be done right, right. once she gets her hands on Thornbridge Manor. Quite the shock she had when Mother arrived during breakfast. Is that everything, Mr. Whitmer? No. I Tell me about Zachary. Did he act strange? Oh, not Zachary. You know, now you mention it, he was a lot more chatty than usual. He wanted to know about my connections in the publishing business. He wanted to publish a book, chat. Apparently, a friend of his is writing a book. Which strikes me as very peculiar. I didn't think he had any friends. Anything else you feel like mentioning? I may be wrong, but I saw Mr. Fernsby, the butler, leave Zachary's room early this afternoon. Is that so? And he seemed a bit startled when he saw me in the hallway. This maid is suspicious as fuck! Oh, and one more thing. Please be kind to Edward. He can only take so much. Why you keep following me around, lady? Oh, sorry. Is that sorry. everything, Mr. Whitman? Uh, I do have a lot to see to. Yeah, you're good, lady. <sighs> hey, are you like a guard? Yeah, I'm feeling uh, very vulnerable today. So can you uh, back off? Man, I'm sorry, dude. You want to talk? Okay, he's want. He wants to go. Okay. And I'm not feeling very good today, so you can just give me some fucking space, that'd be cool. <laughs> I guess. You! You! Emma Carlisle. Emma can Carlisle! You, where you, were you, got, you got old face, Emma. Surely I'm not a suspect. Wow, you I got old face, Emma. For everyone. Well, I spent the evening with my family, but I got an awful migraine and had to take to bed. Everyone can attest to that. I believe I went up when the boys sat down for a drink around eight o'clock. Is that all? No. How did you feel about Zachary? I might as well be honest. His presence was always awkward. But how do you have a meaningful? Don't you fucking add with a reflection man now? Cares about plants. In my opinion, Alexa bears some responsibility oh, like for how this ended. She supported his self-limiting behavior by letting him live here. I anything see. else you want to know? I'm not Have done asking you anything things. else out of the ordinary. Nothing special comes it's to her. mind. Except perhaps I did get a feeling that Zachary was depressed, not just sad. I suppose he realized that he had no one with Alexa gone. Even Alexa must feel the pangs of guilt over that one, letting him believe she was dead. Then again, Guilt isn't her strong suit. Right, right. Right. Where the hell is Gregory? Wait, Z Zachary's a dead one. Where the hell's Gregory and Edward? I Edward's got something on. Look at his fucking eyes. Look at those sad, meaningless. His life must be nothing. He must be a fucking ball of worthlessness. I bet he's got something to hide. Have you seen your loser brother? Gregory Carlisle. Can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Oh, you're wondering about my alibi, Mr. Detective. Hello? Well, um, I left Yo, you the hearing this? bridge around half eight for a pint with Edward. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> Quiz night at the inn. Sort of like a... Callahan staying here with Zachary. Fucking hell. Who does he remind me of? Wife sporting another one of her headaches would have been a fate worse than death. He reminds me of someone. Uh, the, the, the chin. Of it, Zachary was very much alive oh, no. when we left. I stayed for the Fucking last shot, God. and I was back here just before midnight. Said tip my tongue. Else you want to pry Michael? My intricate intellect. Sort of like Jay Leno, actually, is what I'm getting. <laughs> I'm getting a sort of Jay Leno kind of thing. Like, upscale the chin like another, like, 5%, and you're getting to Jay Leno. Is what I'm sort of seeing. Sorry, we're not Tell done. Tell me here. about Zachary. 
Zerk. <laughs> Such a sad old sod. A bit heavy on the bottle. But who could blame him? The only company he had was his rare plants and mother, who travels more than she stays here. Honestly, right. I can't say which is the bigger bore. He's better off dead. Is that all? Anything else you'd like to tell Anything me? Else? Nothing really. I'm just enjoying the show. Our perfect mother obviously fucked up, didn't she? Faking her own death. You know, she's explained nothing to us. I think she's scared to own up to her own mistake. <laughs> where's where's the other one? We got one last guy to ask about then. Where the hell is he? He's got a weird <sighs> Yes, hi Cassie. It's me again. Edward. I, I know I'm not supposed to leave you messages, and this is the last time, I promise. It's just uh, I don't know how to handle this whole situation. I, I don't think I can really. I, I I can't feel my legs, and my eyes are not working properly. This flicker thing again. Oh, uh, gotta go. Sorry, I'll, I'll stop calling you. What were you talking about there? Professor Edward Carlyle, can you tell me your whereabouts for last night? Oh, yes, this dreadful business with Zachary. I stay at the local inn. You see, I prefer not to spend the night here at Thornbridge Manor. Why? My brother Gregory came along for a nightcap. He'll never admit it, but I think he understands that I find this whole thing upsetting and wanted to provide some comfort. I believe we went to the stand. God, around you are pathetic. Eight. If that's all, you sound I pathetic. To write. Can you tell me about Zachary's behavior last night? I certainly didn't expect him to commit suicide. Sure, he was upset by mother's supposed death. You were. But he seemed more engaged than usual. You should ask Rebecca. They had a long talk. Rebecca had a long talk. Did you know talk. that he hadn't left Thornbridge Manor in nearly 50 years? In 50 His years. His plants, mother, and the staff were all the company he had. Yes. Anything else I can do to help? I want to ask you about suspicious activity. Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? You mean apart from the fact that we came here to bury our mother and she shows up alive and kicking? Zachary found dead in his bed this morning? Or perhaps that the planned funeral is still taking place and I have to do the eulogy? And mother will surely have strong opinion on it afterwards. Breathe. Excuse me. We're not done here. Oh, maybe we are done. Dude, don't drink that. It's smoking. I don't know how to handle this whole situation. Why is this? I, I don't think I can really. I, I, I can't feel my legs. I'm gonna I'm kill this guy. I don't trust him as far as I can throw him. There's something about him. He leaves. Go to an. Goes you to an can't inn. Tell anyone. But, but the thing is, I've been asked to perform the eulogy at the funeral event tomorrow. What's he saying? That sounds so unbelievable. But even though Mother is still alive, we still have to go through with the funeral. Right. I have to write the eulogy. I don't think I can. She I also consult for, 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 for speech writing. I do lots of... Uh, I, I, do, I do lots of uh, inspirational speeches. Okay. I can help you. My legs are really weird. I, I need you, Cassie. I'm sorry. I know. Uh, I'll hang up. Not supposed to do this. Christ, sorry. Bye. And this guy's got a really pathetic cycle, huh? So he takes a drink, and then he calls that person again, then he takes another drink. Do I just free him? He's. I can tell he's so irrelevant, no one will even notice he's fucking gone if I were to murk him right now, you know what I mean? No one would notice for a fucking second if I were to murk this guy and just fucking kill him. You know what? If I were to just... You always led by example rather than by words and meaningless gestures. I wonder if I can fuck up the eulogy. Like hugs and encouragement. Just a single spontaneous caress, what a difference that would have made. The handwriting does not match Zachary's suicide note. I right. see. I clearly remember when It I can't be him! I climbed a tree. The handwriting is not correct. We need to find handwriting from the other family members that confirm the who wrote that fucking thing. There's gotta be more we can do.
What am I looking at here? Hey, I think this is upstairs. Whatever I'm looking at right now, it's upstairs. Hang on. Let's get to the bottom of this. One way or another. Of course, footprints of someone. Footprints found on the terrace behind the sitting room. Something strange is going on here, Chad, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Diana keeps calling. She's texting me on, I'm getting a text from Diana. She's asking, what am I fucking doing in all caps? But I'm, I'm putting her on silent mode. I, I, I gotta solve this. <laughs> I owe it to Zachary and the family. They don't have to lose anyone else today. I'm gonna save them. I owe it to the rest, Diana. Shut up, I have a case today. I'm in too deep undercover. A portrait of Montgomery Carlyle, Madame Carlyle's late older brother located in the sitting room. This doesn't help me with anything. We have to go upstairs. How are you today, sir? I'm okay, thank you for asking. You've got a very, very pretty. Wow, I can see the pores in your skin. I know, I'm very, I got a lot, I got very defined pores. Thank you, for, thank you for detailing that. That's very kind of you. For fuck's sake, you're not a detective. You don't have to tell me that. I got this under control. What, you want me to just run up? I can fucking do it right now. You want to see the alternate fucking reality version of this where I just play Hitman like a maniac? I can fucking walk. You guys have to give me one second. I'll just, I'll just go upstairs and kill her then. It's fine. I'll just pull out my... I'll just grab my knife. I'll just grab my knife and go upstairs. Not like anyone has to, what it takes to stop me. I'll just walk upstairs. Oh, we can just go upstairs right now. If you guys want me to be a psycho, I can just fucking... I just walk right in, dude. What are they gonna do? Shoot at me? What are they gonna fucking do? Shoot at me? Try to stop me? There's like five guards. Got her. Now we just walk it. We just walk out. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. But you don't want that, do you? You want me to solve a murder mystery and then throw a brick at someone's face anyway, don't you? Did you want to check of course you do. You don't actually, you don't want any of this fucking crazy. You just say you do. Room. Oh, I need to open this? I need to open this. It's locked. Chad, I need to get into this room. I know where there's a crowbar. Hang on. I'm a professional detective. It shouldn't be any problem for me to just do my thing. Which there's a crowbar right around this wall. Let me just, let me just get downstairs. Or I guess going right through the window. I guess that also works. I was gonna, I was just using this as a way to get to a railing, but I guess I can just go right in. Up. Let's take a look around. What has Rebecca been up to? I can see from the log that Rebecca was in a conference call from 9 p.m. to midnight last night. Are you sure? This is, uh, this is pings and digs to generic site .io. Hello, Rebecca. Let's see. Diana makes it up as she goes, and she's just humoring me. She knows that that's not what it says. She's just like, please, just fucking, like, just accuse someone. What's this? What's this? We got intel. Hang on, I got intel, but it's not... Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, handwriting does not match Zachary's suicide note. Rebecca didn't do it. We have to keep looking. This is a toilet. No one's writing is in there. I should give it to Rebecca in case of your death. Exactly. She holds the other one. I want her to have the file on Arthur Edwards if I die. You're not fearful she will be in trouble if she knows. She will start digging when she realizes things don't add up. Inevitably getting her in trouble. I'd rather she knew who she's up against. She's clever and resourceful. Who knows, maybe she'll be able to hit him where it hurts. But I don't want to Okay, so I gotta kill Rebecca sure. then. I think she's got the other it's the butler and Rebecca have the two things then. She doesn't have it. It's Rebecca. Rebecca's gotta die. Rebecca gonna have you to die. Only knew. Look at 
Looking good. Looking good. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Sorry. Wrong room. Mm hmm, chat. Mm hmm, mm, something doesn't add up with all this chat. There's something off about this whole, this whole sham investigation. You know what I'm saying? There's something weird going on, chat. And I'm going to get to the goddamn bottom of it. Another locked room. If only that was ever enough to stop that door me. Leads to Emma and Gregory's room. Fuck! They locked the window. <laughs> mm hmm. I will keep going. I bet, I bet they left one of these windows open. This is officially enough to stop me. <laughs> Fuck. The balcony. The balcony. They left the balcony open because they're amateurs. Watch this. I'm in. I'm in. Wow, dude. Nothing quite like a bathtub in the middle of your real fucking room to track water all over. I hate places like this. This is awful. What's this? Hang on, what's this? Someone took a big dump on the ground. Wait, no, we're looking at the shoes. Not that. Shoes and footprints found in Emma and Gregory's room matching the prints on the terrace outside the sitting room. They walked outside. A big mistake. Chat, a big, big mistake. We're getting close to the bottom of this. What's that over there? I want to be that guy. I want to be that guy now. I've changed my decision on what story I want to do. I want to do that guy now. Ah. This is the problem with Hitman, dude. I guess I could still be him and solve the crime. Some incredibly dangerous situations, right? She I should, should probably... get back to <laughs> right. right, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Oh, do go on, perverts. Do go on. Were you two about to kiss on the job? Oh, no, you both run away? No one can connect that to me. It's a victimless crime. Actually, no, it's not victimless. It's an unprovable crime. Psycho chat. Look, it's the rule of Hitman. If someone's by a cliff and can be pushed, you push. Okay? You push. No one can fucking prove it's you. When someone's by a cliff, you push. Okay, that guy got that guy that well that time someone saw me. Those two Alright, that one was <laughs> I should have been more careful with that one. <laughs> probably probably could have been a little more careful on uh on that approach. But you're a detective, not a hitman. True So true God, you're correct. Fuck. You are right, dude. I am a hit. I'm a detective. Hitman's my day job. But my inspiration... I've always been inspired to be a detective. Is that other guy dead? Did I kill the real detective or did I just knock him out? I should probably shoot him. To make sure that I'm the detective forever. Have all kinds of interesting stories. No, Excuse me? What are you guys doing? Mind where you're going. Sorry to harsh the vibe for so you two. Uh, yeah, what you feel like you deserve. I guess. Sorry to I like, sorry to ruin it for Got you. Got your message. Could you just give it a rest? I said I'm fixing it, okay? Yeah, well it was Ant's idea. It's a I need more things to take pictures of. There has to be more to take pictures of. Of course. The trophy room. There's something to take a picture of in the trophy room. With me, chat, with me. Oh, I'm gonna solve this crime. Even if no one, including the people who fucking work here and live here, want me to solve it. I will solve it. I'm a hero. Okay? Man. 
paperwork. Documents on the Carlisle's assets. Documents gathered by Rebecca on the recent movements of assets that belong to the media branch of the Carlisle Holdings. They show a number of unauthorized movements of funds and privileges. I see. Stuff's starting to come together, chat, but there's something else out there in the garden that I need to check. Just to be completely sure. Just to really close the case on this case. And then I can get back to hitmanning. But not a moment before. Let me just check the greenhouse. The place that Zachary loved so much. Oh, we don't have any extra Ethel looked everywhere. Got no power, no point. Don't care about the portrait. I care about the I care about the scene. This door's locked. Fuck. Fuck. That's what I need to check. Looks like a Book on plants. I don't believe for a second that Zachary committed suicide. We don't need just run through his plan for the spring season. It's got him. Yesterday. Crowbar. Sure. But he, he was upset believing his sister was dead. This is going to get me in trouble. I'd say worried about how things. Hang on, let me go around the front. They won't catch me from the front. No one, no one's going to see this. You guys have my word. No. No one's going to see this. <laughs> have a good day, officer. This is it. Stinky plant. This is a the spurge. Lethal dosages. Stinging the spurge. Used to kill Zachary. Something is circled. Forty-seven. Female, age sixty-five to seventy-nine, sixty to sixty-four kilograms. I'd say Madame Carlyle is next in line for a poisoning. Oh my God. The case is. It's thickening, chat. It's the case is getting thicker by the minute. It's because the case is getting very girthy. This case, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Someone slipped next to this case and poured a whole pile of goddamn cornstarch into the case, and now it's getting too thick, like a th like a syrup of some kind. And I'm going to thin it out. I'm going to thin out this case again. Okay? I'm going to get this case nice and nice and thinned back out. It's like an oatmeal, this case. And then I'm going to poison her with the plants. Hang on, I should actually go grab them. I'm going to beat that assassin to poisoning that lady with the poison. What I'm trying to say, yes, Chad, is that this case has a gigantic dumpy ass. And I can, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I will never again like that. Understand? Is there any plants I can pick up to use to poison a man? Broken lab equipment. It looks like it was recently used, though. Yes. Like oatmeal? So completely garbage without the goodies thrown in? Chad, don't get it twisted. Oatmeal is one of the fucking worst things ever created by man, and it always will be. No amount of things you put inside oatmeal can make it any better than disgusting slop made for pores. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> I love doing these hey, things and just watching chat go fucking crazy. It's honestly all I do it for. No other part of it matters. I need to take more pictures of things, chat. But I'm running out of things to take pictures of. I'm running out of rooms. You know what I mean? But there's more undiscovered areas, so we gotta check those. Any one of these could have a thing in it, you know what I mean? Staff toilet. Did all the groceries arrive? I heard some of the delivery people were unhappy with the security at the gate. Mm. Uh, Why well, safe with Ethel? She never misses a step. Gossiping and work, though. Oh my God! All this pretend funeral. Jesus Can somebody Christ. please help me? This is. You fucking psycho! Are you actually calling the cops because I picked up a cleaver from the kitchen? You have 
I'll show you, psycho. Somebody is walking around with a weapon. Do we have any ID on the suspect? You're out of line, sir. I know I will have. That was now. That was psycho. You know. Hold it right there. Hey. Prepare to die. Oh, Ow! Oh, your face is Ow! swell up after that. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Got me with the old fucking rapid fire machine gun punch. The machine gun jab, dude. Oh my god, these saves are so cruel. Why are you doing this? Why is the last auto save back here? What do the auto saves even mean at this point, dude? This auto save is fucking cruel. <laughs> it auto saved in the kitchen? I didn't see a kitchen auto save. Because it didn't autosave there. It autosaved last time before I even went here. And it can't be time based. This is why this game needs quick saves. I don't always remember to like fucking go into a thing and click the button. Why would I? I gotta go back downstairs and grab that evidence again and. The hell? Like, what the fuck is. Missing propane flask. That's something cool. That's neato. What the fuck is this shit again? You guys can tell. Now I'm like angry. This is this is the kind of stuff that gets me like fucking mad. You know, like just frothing at the mouth. Like just losing even seconds of my life when I'm a mortal being pisses me off. And I should be saving again. I should be saving right now so it doesn't happen again. But I'm not going to. At a certain point, I snap like a twig. You know that, right? That's what happens. At a certain point, I just snap and just murder. The, just run upstairs like I did the last time and just kill everyone, but this time do it sneakily. You know? Like, just crack. And kill. I doubt that's true, though. Now, he was here when the safe in Madame Carlyle's office was repaired last week. He had to carry some heavy bolt to the top floor. He complained about back pain for the entire weekend. A safe in Madame Carla's office. I bet that's where she keeps the file on Arthur Edwards. Yes. I bet, she, I bet that is where they keep the file on Dr. Edwards. You know what would be really cool? They added driving in the game so I could drive this fucking lawnmower around. That would be pretty nice. Where's that fucking, where's the crowbar? All right, let's just get back in there. I'll save as soon as I've done this part again. And then I can go on with my life. I'm gonna get in trouble for this this time. I should save here. Man, it's almost impossible to get in trouble for the radio thing. I swear to God. Broken lab equipment. It looks like it was recently used though. You just go so fast. That guy was watching me and he couldn't catch me. Okay. This is a table showing lethal dosages for the poison used to kill Zachary. Something is circled 47. Female, age 65 to 79, 60 to 64 kilograms. I'd say Madame Carlyle is next in line for a poisoning. Thanks for the fall. really good though. Latest bad? All right, chat. It's time. I'm going to see if I already have enough to tell the butler I know who done did it. I'm not going to take this unicorn horn and use it as a murder weapon, am I? It's not even illegal. This is a legal tool used for my detective work. How's it going? I turned this horse into a normal horse. Yes. There's still something over there that I haven't investigated. That's like this that's like the office or something. Hang on. It's worth checking. And then the detective's still in here, right? It's one of these the yeah, that's detective room. Staff room. That is the door to Mr. Fernsby's office. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mr. Fernsby, what are you hiding? Mr. Fernsby? Mr. The office of Mr. Fernsby, the butler. The room is accessible through the storage room and the staff quarters on the ground floor of the mansion. We've got some evidence to look through here. Fire poker. I like how in Hitman, you just end up with a mansion master key. I'll be taking that. You just end up with like a ridiculous amount of things. You know what I mean? Like I'm carrying a, like a, like 40 pounds of like weaponry on me now. Oh, what's this? Another fire poker. Am I officially out of space? I might be out of space. Lethal poison Thanks. pill jar. Lethal. Mr. Fernsby pills. A jar of pills found in Mr. Fernsby's office. The pills are lethal in large doses, but do not match the marks on Zachary Carlisle's body and therefore could not have been the murder weapon. Yes, but why are they here? Those say poison on them. Matter of fact, it's next to a big drinking cup. If you use enough of them. But not the poison used to kill Zachary. Of course, Madame Carlisle doesn't know that. Are you considering to frame the butler, 47? Well, it'd be an easy way out. If you know what I mean, Diana. I'm saying that I'm lazy, Diana. And if I tell her that the butler did it, and then I do it right afterwards, it might be pretty funny. That might be like a funny bit for the stream. You know what I mean, Diana? You know what I mean? It's illegal to carry a golf club. You guys know that. That's why I gotta get rid of it. You know what I mean, Diana? If I... There could still be more over there. In the graveyard. Still also some things on the second floor. Like some office. There's still more to explore. Chat. She's your only viewer. Shut up, chat! I don't think I'm very appealing to like the like the senior demographic, to be honest. I don't think many of them like me. I get a lot of fucking really mean messages from old people. For centuries the Carlisles have fought to prosper. Like all really fucking mean messages. Alone. So it's illegal to go in this room, but that's not gonna stop me. But I recall last time I went in here I got in big fucking trouble with the cops. And a lot of people tried to shoot me. So this time let's make sure we do this like careful like, you know what I'm saying? Let's do this careful like. This doesn't this doesn't look careful, I know, but it's the most careful I can do. I get up. That guy's facing away. Where's this guy? Facing towards me. No, I didn't expect this. Yates didn't even warn me, and now he doesn't return my call. Gotta quite get help. Another unprovable accident. <laughs> Another impossible to prove accident that no one can connect to me. And that's just how it is. You know? The unicorn did it. I actually want the unicorn horn back. Can someone help me? Hey, you gotta fucking move. This is a lawyer. Madam Carlyle. Drop the body. Show me. <laughs> Madam Carlyle, I found the murderer. Madam Carlyle, where are you going? I solved the case, Madam Carlyle. Madam Carlyle. Move the packet. Madam Carlyle. Gotcha, gotcha. Why are you running, Madam Carlyle? Oh, you guys, you guys. Think that's gonna stop me. You would think that. Where are you running? Madam Carlisle? Why are you? <laughs> okay, maybe you guys did have a chance. There's like, ten, there's like 10 of you. I cannot believe she came in right then. Son of a bitch. I gotta do this faster. I'm I'm gonna play the detective and the lawyer. It's like a one-man show. All right, chat. <laughs> I'm gonna do this like a one-man show. Uh, she's gonna come in, and I will now be the lawyer, and she won't even notice it. <laughs> get ready. No, I didn't expect this. It's gonna get really dark really fast. Go through. Go through. Go through. What? 
quickly. Fucking guy's stuck on the thing. She's coming back. Our timing is limited. Madam Carla. Verdict, Mr. Ford. Undoubtedly, some of my assets must be set free. No, everything. <laughs> Thornbridge Manor, surely. That too. But that's not possible. Yes. I'll kill him. I swear, if it's the last thing I do. Thank you, Mr. Ford. That will be all. Of course, Madam Carla. Got away with that. <laughs> she doesn't know anything about anything. That's Madam Carl <laughs> taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. And the butler did it. It was the butler. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. That's, that's not the way I want it to go down. That's the way it could have gone down. Well, it's not the way I want it to go down, you know? Oh my God. That's the way I would have wanted it to go down, but that's also still not the way I'm going to accept it goes down, you know? Man, guys, just think about this for a second, okay? Think about having someone throw, watching someone else. Throw a can of soda so hard at another person, the can of soda actually explodes into shrapnel. Like, it doesn't just dent, it explodes. That person is dead, right? That is so fucking hard. Twisted T? I don't even want to know what you guys are fucking talking about, but I'm not looking it up. I don't want to know. Oh my goodness. Well, let's take a look at what we got on the laptop. This all confirms that Arthur Edwards stole everything from Madame Carlyle. Perhaps you should let her know how bad it is, 47. Didn't I just let her know how bad it was without knowing? I guess my character guessed. <laughs> I'm also her guard now! <laughs> I'm also the guard! <laughs> One man show, motherfucker! I'm the guard, I'm the detective, I'm the lawyer! I'll be your son next, and you won't even know the difference. Yes. Madam Carlyle, we're gonna be late for your 2.30. Madam Carlyle, you should make sure you stay near me. It's not safe here anymore. <laughs> I'm multi-talented. She actually doesn't even realize I'm the same per I I'm the same person. I wasn't even wearing a hat as a lawyer. She just doesn't know any better. And next I'll become the fucking, I'll become the guy at the funeral next with the top hat. <laughs> I'm everyone. <laughs> I'm everyone. She's so old, she can't tell the difference. Chat, that's the thing. She's that fucking old. It's like psychosis. She's just got psychosis. She can't fucking tell the difference. I remember ever having a family of... I'm everywhere. I'm every single character. And now we get to watch this because we're her guard. We have Somebody to be Somebody should document this historic moment. Mother of Pol <laughs> Wrong eye. I can document it. Jizing for a major cock-up. Both firsts, I believe. In my own time, Gregory. I'll wait till everybody is here. Do me a favor and get rid of that thing, would you? I hate guns. These guns? <laughs> 
What do you mean? These guns. Right here. Right. These guns. Let's get started. I want to keep this short. I know you have a lot of questions. Some I will answer now. The rest will have to wait. First, Zachary's sudden death is a great tragedy, but also a great inconvenience, as it happened just now. I'm dealing with the situation in a discreet and efficient way, and I expect your cooperation in all related matters. Secondly, the arranged funeral event tomorrow will take place as planned. No one can know that I am still alive. I expect you all to act your part. Last, as you all know, I have a lot on my plate and need to focus. Everyone here knows that I'm the lawyer. So please everyone knows everyone here knows I'm the detective. They all recognize me. They're just not they're that fucking freaked out by the fact that this is happening. That they just you assume it's part of my method. Have to deal with difficult situations They're like just like he's one he's the best detective in the world. This must be part of his method. You. Is like this getting is into the uh, the brains of like the, the security. That will be all. So they're not saying anything. I have to go meet with my detective now. Oh Don't fuck. Wave that <laughs> oh fucking Jesus. Shit. Wait right there, ma'am. Fuck. I think you should hide that thing. <laughs> Greetings, sir. Fuck it. God damn it. Just this guy running up and down the stairs with different clothes. <laughs> Madam Carlisle! No, what is going on? Not now, Rebecca. I thought I made that clear. Yes, now. Something's really wrong. Madam Carlisle. Mr. Whitmer, you found proof of what happened to my brother? Yes. No, not yet. Go and see Fernsby when you do. Oh. Never mind then. Fuck, I gotta change yes, clothes. Now. Wait, no, I'm in the right clothes to talk to Fernsby. Something's really wrong. I started digging and I can see that a lot of our mandates are void. Financial decisions don't do it. Vote and no, don't do it. Hold. And then you give me that Hold. For the void don't do it. You're not a psycho. You're a man. You're a man. He's losing track of his personalities. <laughs> he doesn't know who he is anymore. I need to get upstairs to the third floor to investigate up there. So I need to change back in my security detail outfit and go upstairs. And then I'll be allowed up there to finish my investigation. It's honestly fucking foolproof. I can't believe how powerful I am. You know what I mean? Like, guys, this is ridiculously powerful. This, this being I am right now. This being that has every fucking outfit in the game. And quite literally can't be stopped. Okay. Where the fuck am I? I actually got lost in the building. I don't know where my room is. I don't know which room I'm looking for right now. I'm completely lost. Whoa! Like I don't know where I am. Uh Where the fuck am I? Oh, this one. How are you, sir? There's been an accident in the lobby. I'll take care of this. Is that what I think it is? We're going up to the third floor. Uniform you get there, guys. Thank you. I think this is the way to the third floor. No, that's the way to the bottom floor. Uh, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. I need to run faster. Hitman needs his faster run. Whatever, let's check out the top floor. Take out my camera. How are you? I'm all right, thanks. Are there any gardeners outside here? Yes, distract him from me, make it easy. Not that I'm aware. Fool. Ow. It was so swollen, it didn't even look like Zachary. I've never seen a dead body before. I don't know. Madam Carlyle certainly doesn't think so. Mm. 
Mm, that's pretty good. Why else would she have asked that detective to come here? The murder. Was the blood? No, not that I saw. All I can hmm. Is Every, nothing seems out of the ordinary up here. But there's always a chance for something to be out of the ordinary. Strange. What's this? Something. A letter to Rebecca Carlyle. Let's take a look. An unsent letter from Alexa Carlyle to her daughter, Rebecca. The letter describes how two tokens carried by Rebecca and Mr. Fernsby, the butler, are combined in the event of Alexa Carlyle's death. Together, the, the tokens grant access to a deposit box in London uh, at the Milton Fitzpatrick Bank. Apparently, the deposit box... Okay, we already know that. We know that. We know that. We know that. We are aware of that. Water. Another part of the... Another detail for the crime scene. Of course. It could be the water they'll use to poison. To poison the, the, the old lady. Or something. <laughs> we should probably just knock it over and get rid of it. Turn around. Nothing else out of the ordinary, except a mysterious switch. We're missing the item to activate it, but there's another fake wall here. I gotta get rid of this. This guy's gotta fucking die. And that means this lady's gotta die too. Sorry, lady. Wrong place, wrong time. You know what I mean? Wrong place, wrong time. Gotta pull ya. I'll get rid of that guy in the hallway. He knows who I am. I'm going to be you, too. I'll be everyone in the building of one man show. I'll be everyone in the building. Every single person will be me and me alone. Would you excuse me one moment, sir? Shit. Ah. All hit man, baby. I'll have to change into the maid outfit too, of course, to set the fucking scene properly. It's like, well, I'm just going to windy up there. Like, 18 people have fallen off of, like, the fucking balconies today. Must be bad railings or something. There has to be some evidence to prove that she did it to Zachary or so. Oh, yes. Peculiar icons above the safe. I wonder if they might be some sort of a code. Maybe have a look around the office, 47. Clock? Telescope fire moose. Clock. 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 Clock is at. Oh my god. It's. It's 620 ish. 619. Seven on the fire. Seven on the fire. I just realized this is a bad idea. Seven. Fire is seven. There's a clock. There's a small clock. There's a clock we were looking for. Set one. One on the clock. One, where's telescope? Where's telescope where's moose? Both of these things are relevant. Telescope? Telescope. There it is. So it's one... Nine. One nine. Where's Telus? Where oh, I just found the Tusk. <laughs> Where's Moose? 
Where's the moose, Shaq? Where's the goddamn moose? That's the thing. That's not a moose. It's the moose. Where is that rascally mo What the hell is this room? Ah, uh, yes. Someone's been spying on shit all over the whole building, chat. But that's a question to answer after I've solved the mystery. I mean, the mystery of what's in the safe. So fuck that, that's not my problem. Yeah, it's you, shut up! Where's that fucking moose? Drop you guys like idiots. Because I can't find the moose, and I need the moose, and you guys ain't helping me. And I don't understand why you won't help me find the goddamn moose when you know I've got eye blindness in both of my eyes. Like, what's the matter with you? Oh, never mind, I found him. Shut up! Where's the damn number on it? Five. So the combination, chat, is... One. And hence, I don't. I'm not. I don't feel like walking all the way back over there. I'd rather spend like more time scrolling through this thing to find the camera. One, seven. One, seven, nine. I think was the telescope. Five. Put it in. One, seven, nine, five. You guys fucking idiots. I like looked at you and I was like, okay, I thought it was nine and it must have been nine because you guys all fucking like thought it was nine. And now I find out you guys fucking actually got it wrong. It was nine. So it was one, nine, seven, five. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Well, I read, I, I saw one person post seven first and I don't know why it confused me, but I blame them and you guys for not like getting him before he confused me. 1975. I knew it all along. We've got the case files. Now to solve it the mystery. 47. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. I owe it to the Time detective. To take care of Madame Carlyle. Yes. I owe it to the detective to solve this crime. Someone's been peeping. Everywhere. The, another unicorn horn. Whoever's doing this, they know that I took one of the unicorn horns. They must know that I'm onto them. Chad, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. There's something off about this place. And God damn it, chat, I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Even if it takes forever, chat, even if it takes forever, we're going to find what's going on. Do you understand me? Really can't believe I couldn't get a shot of myself looking into the ca- Even if it takes forever. Someone- I'm- Chad, I got an idea. If I murder every single person who could have done it, I'll get who did it. That's the thing. We'll just throw a big net. You know what I mean? This is Cassandra Cox, Edward's ex-wife. I don't know what's going on at your house, but Edward is losing it again. He seems to believe that Alexa has come back from the dead, and that he has to write the eulogy for some make-believe funeral event. I still have the restraining order on him, so whoever gets this message now that Alexa is dead better get him under control. Otherwise, I see no other way than to get the police involved. I see. Very curious. Very curious, chat. Very curious indeed, chat. Chat, we have like 13 minutes for me to solve this case. 
Do you understand? Time is not on our side. I have to solve this case now, or this has a really underwhelming conclusion of me running up to this lady and stabbing her in the neck. And being like, I was the detective and murderer and butler and lawyer all along. Time is not on our side. Don't flush that. Hmm. Hmm. So Maybe I think, we should uh, get back to yeah, another yeah. newspaper. The bathroom. Something strange about this bathroom. Something strange about this room, too. Something strange about all of these. Now, this is a letter from Emma's mother. Found in the room in which Emma and Gregory Carlyle are staying. The letter details that Emma's father was late was the late Montgomery Carlyle, Alexa, and Zachary's older brother, and that the two younger siblings murdered him. Apparently, the two murderers were unaware that Emma's mother was expecting this child. It's interesting, 47. A letter from Emma's mother stating that Emma is the illegitimate child of Alexa's late older brother, Montgomery. And listen to this. She claims to have witnessed Alexa and Zachary murder him. The plot thickens. Strange. I'm I'm lost. It's actually been going for so long, this plot. This plot's so goddamn thick that I can barely move through it. Sir? What's up, lady? The plot's like immensely thick. Don't do it. Oh, that smile. It's irrelevant. Check. Because by the time they catch me, by the time they actually catch the detective, I'll be the next. I'll be the butler again. They can't stop me. I don't even need this costume anymore. How's it going, you two? Seen any good movies oh, lately? I haven't. I'm the private investigator. And the question is, am I going to find who did it or not? Everyone's got questions like that every once in a while. Is there a need to kill everyone just saying, oh, I don't need to, but when you see something, someone that you can push off of a cliff, you fucking do it. Or are you a pussy? The cane! Shot the cane! Who is staying in that room? Shot the cane is the switch! The cane is the switch! And every single one of these rooms probably has a cane thing. Or something. Oh my god. Where's that butler staying? I'm gonna tell him he did it. <laughs> I'm gonna have time. I gotta go. I'm just gonna tell Butler that if he did it and he should hand himself in and tell him that he's gone crazy. I'm gonna make him. I'm gonna tell him that he did it. It was the butler. I think it was the butler. Where the hell's he staying? Ah, butler. So you did it Mr. after all. Fransby, Mr. Whitmire, you have enough evidence to present your case for Madame Carlyle? No, not yet. Come and see me. What the fuck? But I literally got a thing that was like, oh my God, I'm, I don't understand why it won't let me just be like, like I thought I, I thought it said I could tell the lady that he did it, and it wouldn't let me do that. So I don't know why it won't let me do that. I'm not sure what it wants from me. Who are these bodies? Did I make these? I believe I made these. Chat, I'm going to have to actually walk up to her and kill her. Chat is going to be a really depressing ending to this level in like fucking nine minutes. I'm running out of fucking time. The clock is fucking ticking. Did you pick up the pills? Oh, I picked up the fucking pills. I've got the pills. What the fuck is she even doing? Is she talking to like the family right now? What Damn is she? You, Edward. Answer your bloody phone, you coward. Ma'am. How dare you interfere with my life like this? You're a nobody, a weasel, overreaching your competences. You are in way over your head. And I will make you pay. You can count on- It'd be so easy. 
Chat, it'd be so easy. Not. <sighs> Ma'am, I'm afraid it's a cold case. There's really nothing we can do. I really can't push her into the fire, huh? It's a cold case, ma'am. This case is dead in the water. There's nothing we can do about it. Where are you going? I'm afraid there's I'm afraid there's nothing more I can do to help you. We really don't know what it is. I think I'm missing like Let's one fucking item on the ground, but it's not labeled on the map at all. And I checked the map. So I don't really have an option, chat. I don't have time. I didn't expect this to take this long. Check your intel. You mean the thing I've already been checking? I feel like I checked it all. I mean, I went through all of it and I've read everything when I got it. Mr. Ferns, we all... There's still something in Mr. Fernsby's office. We're not out of time yet, guys! We can still solve this mystery! We just have to find out why. We have to find out why. Mr. Fernsby. Zachary's di Zachary's diary. It does not match Zachary's diary. Diary. This is big. He was about to confess to the world that he and Alexa murdered their older brother Montgomery 46 years ago. Alexa and murdered him. Mr. Fernsby helped make the murder look like an accident. Ah. And 47. The handwriting doesn't match the suicide letter in his room, proving he didn't write it himself. Mr. Fernsby clearly didn't commit the murder. But I think you have enough evidence to convince Madame Carlyle he did. Well, that's Maybe all I you need. should tell him you are ready to present your findings. I, uh, I... Unless, of course, you want to do some more detecting, 47? You know, Diana, here's the thing about that, Diana. One, shut the hell up, Diana. Two, Diana. Okay, here's the problem. Okay, I'm, I'm out of time. I'm on Gregory's room. Where we found the cane. Chad, we still have time. Brett has like a 40 minute pre-show. We can do this before time is up. We can still finish this. He plays music like forever. We'll have, we have time. We'll be able to do this. I'm on the wrong floor. I gotta do this. I'm on Gregory's room. Here we go. Get out of the way, lady. Seriously, bitch. Come on. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call you that. I'm in. A, I'm honestly like. I'm. Ha I'm just having a rough, a hard time today. I have a lot of jobs to do, and a lot of people mistake me for the lawyer, and the butler, and the security team, and it's hard. You know, it's just really hard. It's just. You know, excuse me. Greetings, sir. Someone fell over there. Yeah. <laughs> move her into this room. I, 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 I'll just move her into this room. I'll just dump her in this thing. <laughs> just dump her in this chute. All right, there's still something in here, chat. There's still something to find. <laughs> something I missed the first time I was here. Yes. A letter opener. That's not it. A newspaper. No, that can't be it either. Something on the balcony. Something on the balcony. No, 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 no. Is she dead? Not yet. <clears throat> I'm the unicorn killer. So that means I put knives in everyone's head to make them look like a unicorn. And I kill most people with the unicorn horn. It's like cruel and poetic in a twisted sort of way that makes people really intrigued by my backstory. I'm missing something in this room. Let me pull out the fucking camera. But what? 
But what? Jet. But what? There's something in here we haven't seen. Even after all this time. And it ain't the shoes and it ain't the mud. So I'm not really exactly sure where it is, because I think I just scoured the entire border of the map and I still don't see it. Be over here. Greenhouse keychain. A keychain pendant for the greenhouse. What's that doing in Emma and Gregory's room, I wonder? Oh and why is God. the key missing? You have uncovered enough evidence to tell Madame Carlyle that Emma is the murderer. Quite the detective, 47. It was Emma all along. This Chat. is how the land lies. Your law firm is deeply involved in this farce, and I demand that you personally take responsibility. I'm ready to present my conclusion. Very well. Let's talk in my office. I suggest you go tell Mr. Fernsby. Unless you think there are more secrets to uncover. Shut up, Diana! I go straight to the source! Also, I got poison flower here, which I'm probably gonna, like, use to kill you. I don't need- I don't need that old bag! Do you understand? I solved this my own way. She wants me to get distracted. Understand, chat? She wants me- Diana wants me to fucking walk off and, like, add another witness to this, okay? I'm already, like, prepping the fucking unicorn horn for my fucking brutal reveal where I both solved the murder and then made another murder that will be truly unsolvable because every witness is gone. I got rid of everyone that could even hear her. Everyone on her office floor is dead, and I play all the parts in this cruel play. Chat. This mansion's a fucking ghost town. Almost everyone's fucking gone or dead on the second, on the third floor. Technically the second floor. In British speak, in the, the moon speak of the Brits, you know? Lady, can we walk any faster? Can we? I'm just gonna hurry up. I'm gonna get there before you. What the fuck? I thought I killed this guy. Hallie. How is he? How did he? How did he? How did he? How are you? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We have two unicorn horns for a reason. Did they reman the? No, these are these are the. Those are the those are the staff. They're not in the office part. This is the office part. Oh fuck! I got rid of him. Your detective skills have gained you access to the lion's den, 47. Madam. Now, go claim your reward. Wait, madam, 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 madam. If you look closely, I've been the detective this whole time, madam. Madam, come back. <laughs> madam, 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 madam. I'm actually just a very good detective, madam. Please don't leave. She's leaving. Uh, fuck. Get it. Oh, my God. She was like, dude, she fucking realized what was up and she just fucking immediately turned around. She was like, oh my fucking God, everyone's gone in this detective. She just ran into my office and changed into another blood covered suit. Oh man. It's all me, ma'am. It's always been all me. You could say I'm one of the greatest detectives of the modern age. You could. Say that. I would take it as a compliment. Your detective skills have gained you access to the lion's den, 47. What? Now, go claim your reward. Well, man, it's time. Em? <laughs> 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 
Why is this so hard? Do you not want to know what happened? Do you not want to know? Why is this being so difficult with me? Fine. I'm not going to do anything. Except for poison or water. Apple. Uh, be cool, be cool, be cool. Your detective skills have gained you access Man. to the lion's den, 47. Hey. Now, go claim your reward. Where are you going, bitch? Oh my god, do I need to be like, do I need to be like fucking like hanging on to you? Gun on floor? There's a gun on the floor. Where? Oh. Oh, for my dirty crimes. You think that's what pissed her off at the beginning anyways and she wouldn't even run away because I changed my outfit? Hang on. Ma'am. <laughs> Ma'am, it's good to see you. The detective's going to be here any minute now. Your detective skills- Ma'am, it's time to begin the, uh, the breakdown of the investigation. Now, go claim your reward. Safe. Ma'am, have a seat. Have a seat. I have things to explain to you. Ma what is happening here? Somebody has taken the case file. Another case for me, the master detective. Let's cover that after I've covered this. All right, I know so, who So, Mr. Whitmer, you've reached a conclusion. Take a seat, please. Yes. Yes, I have reached a conclusion. Go ahead. Accuse Emma, accuse Zachary. Where are you going? Please, Give us don't you throw things at <laughs> Mission complete. Okay, I just want to see if it would let me stand up and do it before she like panicked and ran away. All right, now let's actually do this. Every time he saves you, I get a bad feeling. Yeah, I do too. Ma'am, I'm afraid it was Emma. Your niece, Emma Carlisle, murdered your brother Zachary. My niece? Emma is not my niece. She's my daughter-in-law. And your niece. Emma is the illegitimate child of your late older Emmer? brother, Montgomery, who you and Zachary killed 46 years ago. That's preposterous. You asked me to find out what happened to Zachary. Would you bald, rather not know? Bald face again. This is my favorite perspective. No, go on. I found a letter from Emma's mother, Jane, who was the fiance of your older brother at the time of his death. She witnessed how you and Zachary pushed him off the balcony. She believed you did it to steal the Carlisle Empire from her and her unborn child. And she raised Emma to reclaim what she lost. Marry your heir, Gregory, get revenge, and secure the Carlisle Empire for her bloodline generations to come. Emma is the daughter of Montgomery and that local girl, Jane. She is. Well, the girl got it wrong. I didn't steal anything. I did what was necessary to protect the future I didn't really of the Carlisles. Montgomery wasn't cut out to take over from father. All Frankly. heart and no balls. Emma used the funeral gallery to speed up her installment as the lady of the house, seizing the opportunity to stage Zachary's suicide. She did her homework, used a poison from one of Zachary's rare plants. Found yes. old floor plans from Thornbridge Manor to gain access to his room through a secret passage. Yes. That scheming bitch. More than Listen, you I've think. got a 720, I, I gotta get to a lady, so we actually do have to speak to you next. Well, I'll have to take care of that. Thank you, Mr. Whitmer. You have not disappointed. I promised you I would reward you generously if you solved the case. So, what do you suggest? I like money. I'll send you an invoice. Thank you, Mr. Whitmer. I trust you'll see yourself out. Yes. Please remain seated, Mr. Whitmer. It's been a pleasure, ma'am. It really has. You know, you've got a lovely place. I hope you do well for yourself. God, what a nice lady. And that was an easy job, chat. That's the thing. That's the thing. Oh my god! I have to kill her still! Hang on! I'm also- I'm also the murderer! <laughs> 
demand that you All right. Mission complete. Well done, 47. Strange. Something's very strange about that. Well, all we have to do now is leave. There should be no problem, a simple walk out of the park. Jen. For an agent like me, a professional, I will just traipse right out of here. Be in time for D&D &D like it's nothing. Another excellent case. The only murder I couldn't solve. The only, the only thing I couldn't solve was who did all the other ones. All those people falling off of the railings. We gotta find the architect for this place and bring him in too. There's something wrong with the railings in this building. Something really wrong with the railings. But that's a case for another time, eh, Butler? I am ready to present my conclusion to Madame Carlyle. Very well. If you'll follow me, sir. Of course. And by the time that he finds Madame Carlyle's body, I'll already be gone. And they'll all suspect the butler. I should probably get a picture of it. <laughs> no, 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 I gotta go. I gotta go. I won't have time for that. That'd be really funny, though. That would have been a really funny stream bit. Everyone can pretend I did that and Omega Lol right now if they wanted. But that's the end of this one. I gotta get out of here. Wow, it's a long walk out of here. Really, really a long walk. I can, I can probably start running. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll run the rest of the way. You two gentlemen have a good day now. You two have a good day. How are you? 47. They're everywhere. Go, get out! It's the Constantine. Shit! to something. <gasps> Epic. Fun game. Good stream. Brett's coming for you. He does his fucking... If this is the one time ever, Chet, that he decided to fucking not do 20 minutes of music? I would be fucking insulted considering he was in here saying that I was good. Okay. It is. He's still in the intro. Good. All right, chat. Kabam Dan, thanks for the five gifted subs. Appreciate it. Thanks everyone for the bits and donations as always. Sorry, I can't get through everyone. Uh, I am... Send you guys over to Brett. We're doing D and D. He never left the intro. I know because I usually have it to like seven twenty. I got time. You got time. You got. No one's even in there yet, and Crendor's late every fucking time we play. I've got like twenty minutes. I technically had like twenty minutes because Crendor quite literally just put a message in the group chat that says, "I'm getting Indian." I'm going to be 10 minutes late, which he does every single time we play because for some reason he can't order before the like session starts. You can't like get it like at a decent time. He waits until literally the second that we're about to start to go get his food. But that's not that's neither here nor there. It's neither here nor there. All right. Chad, I'm sending you over to uh, Brett to watch. We're doing the college arc. Okay. It should be a good time. Should be fun. I will see you guys maybe tomorrow. Okay. We might be doing a thing tomorrow. If not, then I'll see you guys on Friday. It depends. I haven't decided if I'm going to do a stream tomorrow yet. 
It might be it might be Friday before I do another long long jam of streams in a row. I'm not sure. Depends on if I want to do a second session of this or not. I'm sort of happy just sort of leaving this as is. I just wanted to check it out more so than anything. I wasn't really interested in doing a full playthrough of Hitman. It's not really that kind of game to me. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll probably be we might be back tomorrow. I'm gonna leave it as a maybe. But it will be labeled as a stream tomorrow, just with a just with a maybe, you know. I'll see you guys at uh, D and D in like fucking fifty or sixty minutes to an hour and a half or so before Grendor gets back. See you guys there. Bye.